the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hey, Daniel, welcome in. Good morning. Happy Friday. Got two games off season. Don't know if it's off season at Texas A&M or Iowa. Honestly, I'm kind of hoping it's Texas A&M because I want to play with these guys that we got in our recruiting. And uh, we'll run through those real quick one more time. We only have one recruit left. And, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, standard Vaughn recruiting class. <laughs> What's up, BB Macon? How you doing? I mean, this is a pretty fucking good class if I say so. I mean, look at this. 98 speed corner, 95 speed corner, 94 speed, 95 speed. This guy's getting cut. 88 speed free, 88 speed strong, 86 outside, 80 outside, 83 outside. This John DeLuca is probably going to get kicked into the middle. Um, and this guy right here that can play tight end and linebacker, he'll get kicked probably to the middle. This is the guy that's the uh, Swiss Army knife. This is that 98 speed, 96 Excel, 93 elusive, 80 carry running back. I mean, even our D tackles are, uh, he's slow, but he's good at everything. Um, 74 speed, 76 speed, could be faster. Um, these guys are, this guy's not that great of a pass blocker. He's just a backup guy anyway. We needed we needed a warm body, but these two guys can start. Um, yeah, 80 speed tight end. And uh, 92 speed, 81 route running, 80 catch wide receiver. And this backup, this guy's a backup. He's not a starter. <clears throat> so. Yep. Another year, another successful class. I'm still really fucking annoyed at the fact that I'm 20th. I'm 20th. Kentucky beat me. I could see them being ranked ahead of me even though they have one more loss. But I don't understand why we have four lost teams, especially Georgia Tech. Four loss, three and four lost teams. Four loss Nebraska. What the fuck? Ahead of me. So, anyway, enough whining and complaining. Let's let's go play these two games and get it over with. We've got a rematch with Kentucky that we, we lost in the first game of the season by 10. And then our bowl game, um, it tells me 
right now um, that we're in line to play this Outback Bowl. But I think if we beat Kentucky, we could jump to the Peach. Uh, eh, maybe not, because we have a higher record. So you know, we might get up into one of these. We won't get there. Could get a Cotton Bowl. Orange Bowl. Could definitely get an Orange Bowl. Yeah, we should be playing instead of San Jose State. I'm sorry. No offense to George, but uh, those those particular Spartans suck. So, all right, let's see if we can get through this game without me spiking another controller. Come in all blue. Yeah, we'll go with this, and we will go with air raid, and we're off. There's a chance that we get our starting running back back for the bowl game. He's out two more weeks, but I don't know if that's if, if I don't know how many weeks are between the end of the season and the bowl game that it will totally wipe out the questionable and probable weeks and that we'll actually get him back for his last game. So we'll have to see. <clears throat> we will see. But we have two games and then we have our off season whether it's uh, getting that last guy to finish off this class or if it's going to Iowa. Um, I actually have my fingers crossed that Iowa keeps Franklin one more year so we can play a year with those guys. And then, uh, then I wouldn't have a problem leaving. I just want to play a year with a 98 speed running back. All right, we're third in points scored, first in passing yards, first in rushing yards allowed. So they uh, they run the ball a ton. So that's fine. We'll be playing a lot of 4-6, 4-4, 3-4. Uh, 3-4 um, over is really good against the option. So... Um, We will see what happens. I gotta make sure I set my uh, stuff before we kick this ball off. Um, so two quick games, then we get the off season done. There is a chance that I will uh, stream Saturday night because there's only one college football game on Saturday, and it's early in the day. Um, and my wife's got somewhere to go Saturday night with my mom and our daughter-in-law. So we might do a Saturday night stream to start the next season, wherever it's at. So, and I still have to uh, schedule my game against uh, FG um, in the NWO for next week. So I got to get that taken care of. And, uh, and we do have a game tonight that I will be uh, calling. So if you want to watch, uh, Two undefeated teams slug it out to see who goes to the national championship. Come watch that. That's Mr. September against Revamp TV. It's uh, SMU against Texas. So that'll be uh, a fun game to watch. So. <clears throat> oh. All right. Let's get in here and get these two games over with and be done. And uh, get to this off season. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of screwed the pooch on that uh, game against Alabama yesterday. I mean, I went for two and I got it to give us the one point lead, and then they responded with a seventy-five yard touchdown the very next play. Um, and when they called those three timeouts to try and ice me, I should have just taken a five yard penalty and then kicked the extra point and gone to overtime instead of. Uh, you doing that play because they had changed their defense and it kind of messed up that play. Um, so, you know, hindsight, I should have been less aggressive in that particular case and just kicked the extra point and gone to OT where I had a better chance to win. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I didn't do it. Get him. Oh, this Nate Morgan dude is a problem. He tore us up last time we played. All right. Let's 
go. 335 stack. doesn't want me to uh, get my play call in, so we'll uh, just audible to something else. <coughs> All right, give me time to call my damn play. Get him. Get him. There we go. All right. These guys love to run. So, uh... Got him. Sit down. There we go. All right. Big play here. Wow, he's like wide open. All right, let's not call that defense again. <clears throat> Go down. Damn it. This guy just tore me up in week one. Could not get him on the ground. Got him. Here we go. <laughs> he just threw it away. All right. If we can hold these guys to a field goal, I will um, be extremely happy. <clears throat> nice. They want to run the ball in third and 12. Wow. That's amazing. I'll take that. Not complaining at all. If they want to kick field goals all day, I'll be totally happy. Mm. All right. Oklahoma knocked off Texas Tech. We already know that. We simmed all of the other uh, conference championship games. So none of these games um, are going to be a surprise. We simmed them all. This is the only conference championship game left. So it's uh, Central Florida against Oklahoma and the Natty. There we go. Get the tight end involved early. Make those linebackers cover somebody instead of blitzing my ass. We have a completely different playbook from when the first time we played these guys. So we were on a uh, spread playbook back then, and we're on a uh, air raid playbook. So uh, it's going to be a little different game this time around. We are uh, going to be aggressive passing the ball because we don't have our best running back. And we seem to tear up these defenses when we 
when we run this offense. So next year, uh, it'll be a different story. We'll go back to a, a different playbook because I'll have the running back to run the plays from the spread. Not having any trouble moving the ball here. Let's, let's see what happens on the run. I haven't run the ball yet. Wish he was a little bit faster. He's agile enough. He just uh, just a half step slower than I prefer. He's only 81 speed. We did recruit somebody that's 89 speed, so. Get out of bounds and not fumble the ball. All right. <clears throat> Let's get some positive. Make this a short third down. All right. Third and three. Yeah. We'll run this ball twice. We are not kicking field goals. Oh, look at that. They have nobody up the middle. All right, offensive line, hold your blocks. There we go. Touchdown. You guys want to run inside runs, and you want to uh, have a good defense. I'm sorry, a good offense that actually blocks um, the way they're supposed to. Um, find inside zone runs because they will those guys will get out to the second level and pick off those linebackers they won't let them come sliding through on a blitz um if you like to run outside then obviously you pick something else but those inside runs the zone zone blocking is gold you're gonna get between seven and twelve yards most of the time. Not every time, but most of the time. Stay in a 3-4 a little bit. Get him. Oh, god damn it. This guy. Alright, we're going to have to spy this motherfucker. Because he's going to kill me too. Not spying on this play, but got him. Yeah, it's my spy. Spy is right stick left. Let's go nickel, and we'll just call man under, and we're gonna spy. This guy. There we go. <clears throat> they love to run. He's out of bounds. That's incomplete. His foot landed out of bounds. They're going to review this play. Yeah, his right foot was out of bounds. That's incomplete. Watch his right foot. Oh, his left foot hits first. All right. All I saw was the right foot. That's all right. Oh, wow. They didn't see the left foot hit first. Okay, I'll take that. By the time we got a little bit of uh, anti-EHEs, we are owed quite a bit. 
If you uh, want to see it in action, go watch my last VOD when we uh, we got uh, completely EA'd against uh, a 5-5 five and five Alabama team. That the, the game did not want me to win under any circumstances. It was crazy. Absolutely crazy. Let's run this jet sweep. This guy's actually listed as our third string running back. They didn't uh, do that great of a job blocking. They kind of swarmed to the uh, tackle. That's fine. Don't go back to the line of scrimmage. Go up the field. Come on, man. That was a weird animation. He should have just spun immediately and he kind of ran a couple of steps back towards me. <coughs> All right. Not in a hurry here to uh, to score. Be nice to kind of grind out a three and a half minute drive here. Yeah, that new running back coming in. Uh, if we get to play with him, not only does he have 98 speed, he has uh, 70 catching. So he's going to be really nice to uh, throw to out of the backfield, especially on wheel routes where he can just blow by a, a linebacker and have enough speed that he can blow by a, uh, a DB as well. Ah! It was so late in getting out there. Let's go. Hold your blocks. I see that guy. All right. Let's do this. You want a blitz? Fine. I'll throw it and beat you. Pretty simple. I just run, run some uh, triple option here. Where is he? All right, reading that guy. Wow. Well, the corner took away the op the ability to hold onto it and pitch it, and the guy, other guy coming up the middle, just blew that play up. That's all right. Let's see if they like this play. These these end of quarter animations drive me insane. Just let me play. Offensive lineman wasn't blocking anybody. That should have gotten me at least the first down. That's a gain of six uh, guys, do yourself a favor and get offensive lineman at least run a 4-7, 4-8, 40. Stay away from those guys in the 4-9s and 5s. We're not punting. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right, let's do more running here. Get a little pass happy. I know this is a pass happy, pass happy uh, playbook, but uh, you can get a little, a little too. God damn it! He got suctioned to the offensive lineman and tripped and couldn't get off that stupid stumble animation right here. He tripped over 88's foot. Yeah. 
Man, their uh, their pursuit is off the hook. That's right. Got it. Woo, just barely. <laughs> just enough speed to get there. Just enough speed. Just treat that as a long, short pass, long run play. A nice short option here on uh, second down. Is he going to score? Yes. Wow. I would have taken just the first down. I'll take that. All right. Remember, we owe these guys an ass kicking because they beat us by 10, and there was a lot of EA bullshit going on in that game. So let's uh, look at that. 15 plays, four minutes. Exactly what I wanted to do. It's not an air raid offense type of uh, possession, but I, I kind of wanted to choose some time off this clock and only allow them, like, one more possession. So they're going to possess the ball next, and then if we can stop them or even if they score, then we can eat the clock the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the quarter. And I believe we get the ball to start the game, then our second half. <clears throat> so a stop here and another touchdown would be great. Have a good drive to start the second half. We could be up 20 to 3 in no time. There. Come on, go down. This stiff arm pushing linebackers up the field for 10 yards is absolute garbage. I'm never going to stop complaining about that absolute bullshit lazy programming. <coughs> I still want to run the ball. All right. Let's go back to a 3-4 over. God, get off your block. No. God, there needs to be a slider to turn those fucking replays off because they're garbage. I'm so tired of seeing replay after replay after replay, especially when it's always the opponent doing right, doing well, right? Just, just stop. You don't have, I get, you know, I, I would love for them to be off completely, but they, if they could just have a slider to the, you know, frequency of when they show that stuff. I know it's like for presentation purposes, but I don't care about the presentation, I just want to play. <clears throat> gotcha, there we go. <laughs> Third and long. All right, what do we want to call? Yep, yep, yep. Like I said, the first drive, they want to kick field goals all day. We'll trade field goals for touchdowns. 
to see if he has a leg or not. Ooh, just barely. I'm not going to kick it much farther than that. Maybe five yards more. Just walked right around that block. Wow. I'm not in a huge hurry here. Move the chains. Clock stops just for a second. I was uh, calling that pass just to get everybody out of that zone. Run off all the DBs. Get a one-on-one -on -one matchup with a linebacker. There you go. Cunningham. Nice hands. Seventy six was blocking nobody. He was just standing there. He's actually in my way. Blocking the hole. <laughs> it's fine. We're good. No hurry. Get all of our timeouts. Just need to move the chains and we can uh, start being a little more aggressive passing the ball. There we go. I'll call timeout now just so we can uh, take our time. Not a soul. Is he going to score? Yes. <laughs> there you go. There was nobody on that half of the field. Let's see if we get a replay on this. Look at this. We had everybody up. We had four wide receivers on that side of the field, and this guy goes on a slant. And look at this. At this point right here, there's only two guys on that entire side of the hash. And once he runs it off, there is nobody. I'm the only person on this side of the field. <laughs> he had just enough speed to score. Wow. One sec, somebody texted me. Oh, uh, my son told me he just got XCOM 2. That's that Alien Hunter game that I've streamed before, so that's good. It's a fun game. So if you want to play something that's not sports related, XCOM 2, it's it's like a 2016 game, but they have it on Steam and they have it on uh, PS4. I don't know if it's on Xbox or not. I play on PS4, but uh, it's good. It starts out kind of low uh, difficulty and then the learning curve ramps up pretty fast. So as you get better, so do the uh, aliens. They get um, tougher and tougher. And you get to the final battle, you're basically fighting like 40 of them at one time with six people. Go cover six. And we'll sit with this guy right here. Actually, we'll go to this guy.
Keep him down. Yep. Inbounds. Make him burn that timeout. Let's call the same one. Spectre, welcome in, welcome in. We are having a good half against these guys. So. Yeah, of course. The game never lets me tackle from behind, ever. Spectre, we have Mr. September against Revamp TV tonight in NWO. 7 o'clock Central Time, man. Undefeated against undefeated. It's the last game of the season before the bowl season for Mr. September. Next week, Revamp has to play JT Gaming. So, Revamp's got a tough, tough stretch here. All right, 13 seconds. We get the ball to start the half. See if we can do something with this. Just run out. Eight seconds. All right, let's see if we can get this play to do anything. Give me my play. Give me my play. Actually, let's do this one. I ran this play against JT and converted a huge third and 13. Circle and square. All right, we got one timeout left. It's not going to matter because we have four seconds. Let's see if I can find the play I want. It's not exactly the one I want because I don't want him to go in motion. Yeah, this one. Oh, on the one. Oh, man. Oh, I need some speed. Need some speed. It was a perfect play, and he just didn't have enough. Damn. Where's Hollywood Brown when you need him? <laughs> Damn. That would have been nice to be up 28-13 and get the ball again. All right. That sucks. Call the right play and just can't execute because of a lack of speed. Damn. All right, let's see if we can run this right here. So we have two options. We have R1 and we have circle. And I barely got that ball off. <laughs> I almost forgot it was a screen. I had to get the hell out of there. Here we go. Yeah, we don't have Hollywood Brown. We have Mike Brown. A little bit different player. All right, he's going to press on the outside. So circle and X look good. X looks real good. Come on, Mike. And he gets down to the five. All right, we need to throw this into the end zone. We need to get this quarterback some touchdowns because the running backs really don't matter. Nobody was open. Good defense. Nothing I could do about that. Second goal to 14. Yeah. I don't like this play. 
Let's do this instead. Basically the same run, but it blocks better. So, that's all right. Four verts from the five. It cracks me up every time. and what fourth and four I'll take the points <clears throat> get it up to a two score game yeah Mr. Spect uh, Dark Spect I should have I should have kicked the extra point on the second uh the second time I went for two against Alabama, I should have just kicked that extra point and gone to overtime. Yeah, they might they might get wide open. It's just strange to call that kind of play. Swarmed. He had five guys there. Half my defense was on that run. All they want to do is run which is fine by me. These guys average over 230 yards on the ground. Let's go cover two. And uh, we do have this guy as a spy. Of course, no one's going to shed a block. <coughs> Maybe I'll try it out um, off stream on one of those. See how it works. Got him. At least he didn't break it and go 60 yards that, like he did yesterday, that made me spike my controller. Jimmy, uh, Jimmy clipped that and just says Von Rage. Yeah, not too proud. I watched it a couple times. It's kind of childish. There we go. Held him again. <clears throat> oh, man. I'm going to be hungry today. That block. There we go. Welcome in, Jimbo. Welcome in. We are playing way better against these baby backs than we did the very first game of the year. You ready for that game tonight? I'm ready to call it, man. It's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, got to watch that run. Got to stop that run. Do yourself a favor and run 3-4 over. And then base align your uh, DBs, which means hit triangle and left stick to the right. And uh, see what he does running that. Larry, Larry. Up. Mike, Mike, 
Free pour over. Hey, I'll shoot you a DM on uh, on Discord. There's two plays in the three four over you can run against him. What I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up having you fuck me over when we play next time. But <laughs> I'll send you a DM and tell you exactly what to do. It's not gonna uh, stop him completely, but. It definitely will help. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Especially if you have the speed at linebacker and the strength on the D line. Your, d your team should be able to run it way better than mine. The kick is good. And I uh, threw on him really well. <clears throat> I don't think the VOD's up anymore. But I, I put up 35 points, and I was throwing a lot. I, I kind of uh, like to do 50-50 run pass, but... Um, Yeah, well, <laughs> my players aren't as good as your players. <laughs> Boom, get him. Yeah. That's, uh, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm hyper-aggressive throwing, and then you guys get upset when I fit those balls in those tight windows. <laughs> get him. Oh, come on. God damn, he was stuck in the backfield. I want to see this replay. This guy should have been sacked. All right. I got this guy blitzing from the outside. He sheds a block and totally whiffs. And then this linebackers, these guys are out here covering receivers and they're just standing around. Fuck. Oh, awareness of negative three. All right, let's try this. Pull these guys back to the other side. They're running to the side. You got to get over there. I was trying to get him over there. Fuck. Yeah, the speed doesn't matter as much as if they... Uh... As if they, uh, they, they need the hands. If they can catch the ball, speed really doesn't matter that much. Yeah. See, I don't worry about trying to score on uh, deep shots that much. Um, I looked at the stats of my game against JT, and I ran 76 plays to his 35. I had the ball for 19 and a half minutes, and he had it for eight and a half. So sometimes it's controlling the clock and uh, just playing keep away. I wasn't intentionally doing that. I just looked at the stats at the, when the game was over. I was just locked in on the game. Um, yeah, I had 29 first downs, and he had 10. And all of those stats that I just ripped off, he still had 520 yards of offense on 35 plays. He had five plays of over 50 yards. So that was if I if I split if I share time of possession with him, um, I'm going to lose that game. But it wasn't intentional. It was just a matter of what was working, and that was running the ball. So, I mean, if you can if you can run the ball against Sep then you're going to control the clock. Yeah. Yeah, JT always has big plays. I knew that was going to be the case, and I was really worried about it, so. <clears throat> yeah. 
Sepp just got to watch that counter play. Here, do yourself a favor. Make sure he's not in here. When you call your defense, the easiest thing to do is to uh, hit triangle, which will bring up your your uh, coverage, and then move your left stick to the right. That base aligns your DBs. So if you have a unbalanced line, like you saw in that one play, it's going to pull your linebacker or your corner from the right all the way back over to the left where they're supposed to be. So you don't have that empty space where he just runs around and there's no one there. Yeah. Make him throw the ball. I know he gets bigger plays. You can get bigger plays throwing the ball than running, but he gets ungodly long run plays. So if you shut down the run and make him pa pass, then you have a chance to pick passes off and you have a chance to get some sacks. Yeah, you can do that. That's fine. But don't unbalance your defense for a particular coverage. So if you like cover, call cover three or two and he's got three guys. See how this guy... Yeah, make sure your all your guys are... Uh, get out of my way. Are covering the entire field. <clears throat> and Bentley does not go down on first contact. It drives me insane. You got to hit him four or five times. Damn, I wanted to keep that with the quarterback. I didn't hand that off on purpose. Yeah, I would try to keep your, your uh, defensive lineman as balanced as possible. Unless he's just torching you in a particular area. Yeah. If I stay here at Texas A&M next year, that new running back I'm going to get is going to make Tyler Beatty look like he's fucking slow as hell. Imagine running this play with a 98 speed running back. He'd be all the way down at the five yard line. <laughs> He had been already. He he would have caught the ball at the fight. Look, he's got 110 yards receiving. If I had played those first two games of the season instead of simming them, Beatty would be like this close to having a thousand yards rushing and receiving. He's got over 700 yards receiving. So if you you throw in a, a couple of more games, a couple of more, just an extra hundred yards, I would be really close. And he's a senior, so go right up the middle. First down. There we go. He does love running counters. I don't know how he runs them as well as he does because every time I run a counter, my offensive lineman's in the backfield and I run into his ass and get taken down. Spectre, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um... I would suggest go on Reddit. Here, let me see if I can find you the, uh, let me find you, let me go to Reddit and see if I can find. There you go. Go there and uh, just do a search on uh, on the schedule stuff. My account over there is Von Rai 111. So I haven't commented on any of that particular grouping of, of uh, questions, but um, <clears throat> Robin 
Johnson back, back to return. This is a whole lot different game than the first game of the season, isn't it? They're kicking their fucking ass this time. The difference is um, style of offense I'm running, and they insist on running the ball instead of passing. They're down 25 points, so that's basically four touchdowns. They can't even do it with three touchdowns and three two-pointers. And they got six minutes left, so. Yeah, Spectre, I think it happens if you realign in the middle of a dynasty as opposed to um, doing it year one. If you, I think if you realign year one, it's okay, but if you realign in the middle, that's that fucks it up. And I'm, I could have that exactly backwards. It, it could be... It could be that you have to play a year and then realign and then it doesn't have a problem then. <clears throat> I would go there and do a search. Search for that particular thing. Get him. Come on. What the fuck is this dude? He just won't go down. Um, yeah, I mean, I would like type in broken schedule or something like that or just schedule and, and scroll through the different threads that it pulls up. I'll do that with recruiting. I'll just type in recruiting, and then I'll go read the other. I'll read the other uh, posts on recruiting and throw stuff in there when I have something to to add. Get him. There we go. Fumble. Come on, tackle him. <laughs> We're just going to stay on that same defense. Where is it? Cover two men. Three line. Got him. Fumble. Pick it up. Stay on your feet. Stay on your feet. Ah. <clears throat> yeah, it'd be really nice to be able to uh, go back and watch game film. Um, all of my VODs stay up way longer now than they used to when I first started streaming. I don't know if it's a follower count, a, a, a date, an age for the for the, uh, for the account in general. I don't know, but they stay up way longer. That's why I put everything on YouTube so I can have access, which is great because when people come in and ask me about recruiting stuff, I'm like, yeah, go watch this playlist, go watch this playlist, and and they can get it really simple. And I could tell everybody, if you, you go watch my stuff on YouTube, I have some long fucking streams, so <laughs> I would highly suggest you watch it on 2x speed. All right, this counter Y play... There's got to be a play that he runs. Let's see. Let's see if I can even keep from running into my own lineman's ass. And the pursuit always pulls me down. I can never break that play, ever. I almost never get a positive play off those counters. Snap the ball. Yeah. If you see me run into the line with my quarterback, it's because I don't want to fumble the ball. And if I'm running away from you and you hit me from the side, there's a huge chance for me to fumble. As opposed to if I just run straight into you and fall down. I do not like to slide. So you will you will never see me slide with a quarterback, so <clears throat> Let's get a cheap throwing touchdown here. Here, we'll throw this four verticals right here, Spectre. We'll try this and see how, see if these guys get open. Just run out of bounds. I didn't see anybody get open. I saw every one of my guys covered and covered tight. 
Everybody was locked up because they're within five yards of the line of scrimmage, so there's no pass interference. Oh, man, that's interference. Do you see him running to the DB? All right, here's the two-point play that we did get the first time against... Um, we got this the first time we ran it against Alabama, and we didn't get it the second time. There it is. Boom. Touchdown. <clears throat> Whole lot different game than the last time we played these bitches. That was 45-35 in their favor. Look at that. I've run the ball 31 times with an air raid offense. My quarterback has over 115 yards rushing. <laughs> All right. <coughs> I'm just going to play generic two-man under and just let them do what they want to do and get this game over and see who we play in our bowl game. Um, the projections had us playing in the uh, outback bowl. They're running the ball down 32 points. Yeah, it's too bad, revamp. It's too bad I don't stream our league games because uh, those would be vodded for sure. But I can't do uh, the microphone in Discord, the microphone and, and uh, camera in Discord, and stream at the same time. So um, I think I have a way around that. Um, I could uh, I could put Discord on my laptop that sits in front of me that I use to read my my chat. Come on, look at this fucking shit. So I could hook up my headphones to my laptop, and that would let me talk in Discord at the end of the game. And then um, I could just norm re you know regular stream. But I don't know if me streaming and playing online would make the lag even worse than it is. And I'm not paying $200 a month for fiber optic cable for uh, internet. <laughs> I mean, if I had a business in my house, then yeah, I would do it. Watch him kick this ball straight out of bounds. If you don't put your uh, onside kick defense out there, there's all these huge holes, so there's no one for them to bounce it off of, and it just goes straight out of bounds. Still first down. <sighs> Let's run this. Ah, didn't throw it far enough in front. Didn't lead him. <clears throat> Need at least five more yards so I can get this guy 400 yards passing. All right, our team ran for 2,000 yards this year. He, Our quarterback's up to 134, and he's going to throw for 400 yards here in a second as soon as I throw this pass. There we go. Didn't get tackled on the one. Awesome. Remember, we always run up the score on the CPU, especially when it's teams that beat us because of EA bullshit. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Yeah, that's right.
My chatbot not working? Could be. No, there's no S on there. It's this one. There's no S. A double crossing cocksucker. No S, yeah. There you go. Jerry, I'm telling you, I have this power. And I have no control over it. Well, of course, we got to get the revamp one in here. I should have played this when he came in. Let's go, boys. Get these last 49 seconds over, see what bowl game we have, and see if Iowa fires their coach. Then we'll have a huge decision to make because I really, really want to play with this particular recruiting class. And I also really, really want to go to Iowa so I can get that checked off. Yeah, it's a it's a dilemma, Dark. We, uh, we want to play with these guys that we just got. And we also want to go to Iowa and fulfill that promise to Jimmy that I made months ago. <clears throat> the best thing that could happen is they don't fire him. Yeah. If they don't fire him, um, then we get a year of playing with those guys at the very least. Sit the fuck down. I also have a 98 speed corner. I have four corners that have 94 or higher that we have in this class. <clears throat> no, he's he's got one year left on his contract. And he's already on the hot seat. And they only have three wins on the year. He's, this is like year four out of five or five out of six. He's He's been there a little bit. Yeah, that the Big Ten has Illinois, Penn State, and Iowa with their head coaches on the hot seat. And they're all like in the yellow. There's, there, there's none of them. Boom, did you see that tackle? <laughs> Let's see this replay. That ended the game and saved a touchdown. Oh, my God. Where's this receiver? There he is. Watch this receiver. Ooh. Oh, digger. Head first into the ground. Let's see that again. Bam. Bam. <laughs> That needs to be the thumbnail for the uh, for the for the stream. <laughs> oh, oh, he rolled on his head too. Look at this. That was a full yard on top of his head. That's hilarious. Oh, what a way to end the game. <laughs> no, you don't get a cheap a cheap touchdown at the end of the game. I gotta write down the score. I forgot. All right. Fifty two to twenty. All right. Yeah, thanks for clipping that. Now we uh now we get to go see what bowl game we're in. And we were twenty coming in, so I'm curious to see how, how much we jump up if at all. There's a bunch of three and Four lost teams ahead of us in the standings. A ton of two win teams. It's a goddamn joke. All right, player stats. Quarterback throws for 416 with three touchdowns. 
and he runs for a buck thirty four and two. So that's five like five fifty and five touchdowns. And the running back had 110 yards receiving. And we only had one pancake out of all that mess. One pancake. <laughs> but look at all these TFLs, man. Those are all negative run plays. Four sacks, no picks. We had two fumble recoveries. <clears throat> All right, revenge, revenge from Monday. <clears throat> wow, yeah, there's a lot of five stars decommitting all over the place. Um, Oregon lost a guy. I think they lost a tackle or some shit, I don't know. Who was that? Somebody just followed. Tybo, HCC Tybo. Hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome in. Let's advance this week. And it uh, still says we're going to the Outback Bowl, but I don't trust that because that was based off our uh, our ranking and not having won the uh, SEC. So. Title for this this one's just going to be SEC Champs. I'll make it nice and easy because we're not going to win the Natty, so we'll just go with that. Um, if you guys want to uh, check out my pre previous streams, go to YouTube. They're archived there. Like I said before, I would uh, recommend watching it on double speed because they're... I don't know that there's any of them under three hours, and there are some serious five and six hour streams in there. So um, you can run it on double speed and just kind of play it in the background and stuff. There's a ton of recruiting. So that's what I would uh, recommend. You can still hear um, what I say. Um, all right, so we're in the Peach Bowl, and we're playing Pit. And my stream is lagging out. So I would suggest uh, refreshing your browser. Man, it's lagging out a minute here. What the fuck is going on? Streamlab says it's not lagging, but it's stuttering. It's big time stuttering. <clears throat> All right, so we did jump to 13. As we knew from last stream when we simmed these games, it's Oklahoma and Central Florida. Central Florida is our old school. Um, we won a natty there. We lost a natty on a Hail Mary in the last play of the game, and then they won the, the national championship last year. So they're going for their fourth in five years, thanks to our recruiting. Um, why Notre Dame's up here with three losses is beyond me. Texas Tech lost. Why all of these three lost teams are ahead of us, I will never know. We won the fucking SEC. We should have jumped higher. We should be all the way up here. This is ridiculous. <coughs> yeah, they've been screwing me the entire year in the rankings. All right, let's check All-Americans. we get any All-Americans. I know our quarterback should be freshman All-American. Look at UCF. Those are all guys we recruited, guys. That's our last recruiting class, I think. Uh, maybe not this quarterback. Any of these guys that are seniors? Yeah, we recruited any of these guys on UCF that are seniors. All right, we got a middle linebacker, a corner, and a free safety on the first team. So not bad. Second team, we got a D tackle, a right outside, a corner, and a strong. So our defense did play better after the beginning of the season. And there we go. Freshman All-American there. Freshman All-American. Freshman All-American. He's a true freshman. He's a red shirt. He's a true freshman. And that's it. So, not bad. Not bad. 
Um, championship contenders will tell you how good your roster is going forward. So now it'll show 15, 18, 7, and 6. One more class, and these two are going to be one, <clears throat> especially that 30-31. All right, so let me save this first so we can get into the next game right away. We'll go look at our uh, stats real quick because I want to see if anybody's close to 1,000 yards or quarterback might be close to 4,000 or 5,000 yards, whatever. We'll, we'll look and see what we need stat-wise so we know what we can uh, try to pad against Pitt. <clears throat> we're in a Peach Bowl, so we're probably in the same exact stadium that we were just in, right? All right, so our true freshman quarterback leads the nation with 4,500 yards. So he just needs 464 yards. So 464. 464. All right, I'm going to write that down because we're going to try to accomplish that. We might get our uh, normal running back back because he broke his tailbone. Um, Alfred is the backup, so we have two running backs with over 600 yards. I don't know how, how much the quarterback has. Yeah, we're not getting 1,000 yards on receiving. We crushed on tackles. Sacks were okay. Tied for first in picks. <clears throat> so 464, and he needs five TDs. All right. Rushing. We have three guys with 600 yards. Isn't that funny? This was our starter, and he broke his tailbone. This was the backup, and this is our starting quarterback. And we spread the ball around a lot. We don't get a ton of pancakes with this particular offense. Defense, though, these are all negative run plays. TFL, that's like a sack on a run play, so... We uh, kick their ass there. Sacks spread out, so you can't just key on one guy. Decent amount of picks. So. All right, here, let me show you this. Uh, here, murder, look at the, or murder. Dark Spectre, look at this. Where is the Big Ten? Head coach, look. He's at 58, so he could hang on for his last year, or he could get straight up fired. Diaz and Lunsford are gone. These two are, they're gone. <clears throat> All right, let's see. It is the home team, even though we have a better record. Yeah, I can show you. Hold on. Yeah, it says he needs to win eight games a year, and he's done it once in four years. So, they really haven't done shit since we started, because 2013 is the first year, right? So that's the beginning. That was the very first year. So I was offensive coordinator at Texas State, OC at Maryland, OC at Oklahoma, and then this five-year stretch is when I was at Texas Tech and then and then we're at UCF for these four years and this is Ohio State and then this is Texas A&M so they haven't been they've got three winning seasons three three nine win seasons I guess they haven't done shit man they haven't won 10 games yet Yeah, so he met, he hit eight, but then he dropped a three. So honestly, I hope they don't fire him until the next season and then let me go. But if they, you know, somehow win ten games and they keep him around, I'm fine because then we get to play this recruiting class's entire career. We'll get there eventually. 
But that's my conundrum. I have such a good class, I want to play with them. Doesn't mean we won't get those classes at Iowa. It's just, you know, you find you don't find a 98 speed running back like that very often. All right, here we go. Yeah, you don't get two 98 speed guys in the same class either. And then I, I did that at corner as well. So, all right, so we need 464 and five passing touchdowns. So I have that written down so I don't, don't forget. And, uh, That guy right there, Bryce Young, he's going to be, uh, he'll leave after he's a junior. There'll be no point in him sticking around for a senior year. Unless he's been redshirted, he could leave after his redshirt sophomore year, right? <clears throat> All right, so we have the number one passing attack. And they're number seven. About the same. I give up a couple of points less on defense, but I score 11 more. So. Yeah, this recruiting class I just got, I have four guys that are at least 94 or higher. 290, a 98, a 95, and 294s. Uh, an 80, a 79, and 278s. <laughs> they're unranked, but they're the home team. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Unranked, but you're the home team. We have a better record, but they're considered home. All right, let's kick off so we get the ball to start the second half. And let's go. Not sure why they call it the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. It should just be Chick-fil-A Bowl. True sophomores? Yeah. So he'd have to he'd have to play through next season. Let's do two man under right now until I see or me see what these guys run. Kind of feel it out, see if they're gonna run heavy. It's like they're gonna. It's like more of a pro style offense, so I don't have to be too carried away. Yeah, they got two. Let's let's run blitz these guys. Yeah, PA pass. Do you see how ba unbalanced my defense was? So that's why I. Oh, he dropped it. That's why I uh, base aligned my corners, so that I I didn't have everybody over on that one side of the field. No, god damn this game. How can a running back be stronger than a defensive lineman? He stands him up with a stiff arm. He has no speed going forward at all, and he just pushes forward and gets the first down. Fucking game. Yeah, revamp. I'm definitely going to uh, try playing on uh, All American with hard sliders just to eliminate the EA bullshit and see. I don't want it to be really, really easy and be you know embarrassingly easy, but I, I want to get rid of the uh, psychic EA defenders. The the defense. I mean, they know your play call. Plus, they undercut your your passes and all that shit. And, Ridiculous. 
And the only thing I did um, against uh, JT on those kick returns, because we know how good Sproles is on the kick returns. I was really worried. Um, I just spammed X. I didn't use her tackle on uh, kick returns. I just spammed X and let the computer tackle for me. Snatched. East with his sixth to lead the nation. Yeah, I just spammed X and let the computer tackle. Because if I hit square, it won't it won't tackle. <clears throat> I probably won't run a whole hell of a lot in this game. We're gonna try and get him his four hundred and sixty yards passing. I mean, I'll run if I have to to convert third downs and stuff, but uh, there you go. Hang on. Good job. Kind of forgot about Antoine. He was chicken ass early in the year, and I haven't been thrown to him a lot lately. I was looking at square, and I was looking at R1. I was trying to throw that ball on a run, and absolutely nobody was, was getting clear so I could uh, throw the ball, so we just tucked it and ran. This looks like X for about a 20-yard pass. Oh, wow. Wow. How did he come get that? That's not even his man he's supposed to be cut. And then he won't fucking go down. Come on, EA. This is such bullshit. This isn't fucking Derrick Henry. This is a goddamn safety. Look at that. Look at that. He's covering both guys on this play. And I led this guy up the middle. Look. He's covering both. He's drifting to the right. I throw it. I throw it there. Look at him. He's able to twist his hips, not lose any momentum, and undercut that. And then he won't go down at all. He broke four tackles. That's why I hit baseline to get this guy out here. That safety was over on the other side of the field. I'm going to hit baseline. Then he came all the way over... To the other side. He was supposed to cover the tight end, but he was lined up on the opposite side of where the tight end was. What's up, Ace? How you doing, man? This is, yeah. It, this uh, EA bullshit drives me insane. That was a wide open pass. That was that was easy 20 yards. I don't know how he can cover that much ground and then not go down. I guess I'm not allowed to tackle. Crossing cocksucker. That makes it second and two. Get him, get him, get him. 
Didn't give me the spot. It should have been a first down. Do you see both D tackles shed their blocks on that third and in inches? Look at the middle of the line. Watch these two guys. They both broke double teams. Look at this. Two double teams, and they both shed. And I had to cut and go off that guy. <laughs> and you want to know why I am so rageful on stream just make the game fair to both sides just make it fair to both sides I'm not, you're going to go straight up the field If he picks this pass off, that's that same motherfucker that did the last interception. Oh, man. <laughs> so revamp I posted on Discord. I uh, went shopping with my wife last night. And uh, we were gone like two hours. And uh, bought a dishwasher, a stove, and a microwave. some casual shopping with the wife it was funny I was telling I told Q about it I was like what it, what you got to do is this is what you got all right guys listen up if you're not married listen up Bonfather's gonna give you some advice let the woman what buy what she wants to buy whether it's clothes appliances whatever let her buy her shit first try and haggle it down so it's not as expensive and then when it's your turn to buy your boat or your car or your new PlayStation or your new computer, she can't say a damn word because you just say, hey, I just let you buy XXYY and I didn't complain about it, did I? My wife always... She always makes a comment when, when she buys clothes, and I'm like, have you ever... God damn! What is with this? One. Two. Three. He's out there making moves like Michael Jackson and, and shedding blocks and tackles like nobody's business, man. Yeah. Let them have what they want, but try and talk down the price of it so that it's not so expensive, right? I didn't say let them have whatever they want whenever they want. I just said let them have what they want. So if they want new shoes, great, but they can't have new shoes every fucking day. But bargain. Bargain with them. Use their shit against them. Hey, you bought this, you bought that. I didn't complain, did I? Well, no. Then why are you giving me shit? Quit busting my balls, man. Yeah. Everybody says happy wife, happy life. Yeah. Well, grouchy husband makes the wife not so happy either, right? <laughs> and what's funny is she and I are 100% exact opposites. Not only is she 5'1 and I'm 6'3, but, you know, a lot of stuff we agree on, important stuff we agree on. 
but oh, we butt heads over garbage. <laughs> Look at this guy. He just will not go down. I, I have to see this. I literally have to see this. I want to know what their break tackle and stiff arm is for their entire team. <sighs> All right. 89 break tackle on their run. He's injured. So this is the guy that's in. He's 90 break tackle. Tight end is 85 break tackle. What is that strong safety? Because he was breaking tackles too. 40. No. 33. He must be the free safety. It was 33. Is he a corner? This guy. He's got 41 break tackle and I couldn't bring him down. <clears throat> and we will be married um, next May uh, 30 years. And we've been together longer than that. We were together three years before we got married. I made her wait. All right, this running play is going to the right. It's out of bounds. this guy just punching linebackers and defensive linemen like they're nothing he's just straight up punching him in the face all right what are we at third and goal huh Gonna be another one of those games. EA wants me to lose, and I'm gonna have to rage. I haven't had lunch yet, so doing a shot at lunch at the halftime of this game is not a good idea. Been played I haven't called this play all day. Let's watch and see if their linebackers and DBs blitz on this play. Ah, faster running back I could have got outside. I love when you haven't called a play at all the entire day for three hours on stream and then they sniff it out like this. Come on, man. This game cheats in the worst way. <sighs> You're not punting. <laughs> Watch the 
Oh, he ran. There's a pick play by the middle middle linebacker, and wh what happened with that? I hit square. Watch this play. I hit square to throw the ball. Did he hit somebody? In his, did he hit somebody? Who did he hit? He just flat up threw it into the ground. Okay. And then watch this right here. Pick play by the defenders. How, how did he throw that into the ground? This game. He's lowering his helmet. That should be uh, illegal. You shouldn't be able to just lower your helmet and stick it in my chest. That was a bad play call. Oh, yes! Stay in your feet. There we go. Huge. Huge. Not to go down two scores. Yep, that was a huge pick. That was the 3-4 uh, over. I ran that entire time when they got inside the 10. That's the uh, defense I was telling you about. Don't try to throw the ball. Run. Why would he turn around and get into a throwing position? Run. If he gets around that end, he's got the entire sideline to run. All right. They're going to make me grind this out.
Alright. We might be stuck in that defense the entire uh, rest of this game. Not that I mind, but that's not my preferred defense. Got him. Yes. Yes. What's up, Johnny Balls? Hey, welcome in, man. Didn't cover that linebacker blitz in the blind side. I got to make sure I don't I do not do that uh, punch with my right. I just got a uh, cortisone shot in my shoulder yesterday, so I got to let it um, do its work and not uh, aggravate the shoulder. First Chick-fil-A, they're wonderful. The lines at the Chick-fil-A's here every, every, uh, fuck you, I'll call timeout. Every time you drive by it at lunch, there's like 25 cars in the drive through and they're lined up out onto the street or into the parking lot. Yeah, mine's because I have a uh, pinched rotator cuff. Not fun. All right. Minute and a half. Yeah, Chick fil A is awesome. Although, we did go to Cane's last night for dinner, too. Raising Cane's is pretty fucking good. out of here oh catch the ball dude come on catch the ball And the only problem is the bread can get soggy if you uh, take it home and don't eat it there. That's the only problem with it. But I do I like the Texas toast. The crinkle fries are good. I love their just the chicken with the sauce is it's pretty. Uh... There we go. All right, minute five. <clears throat> Can't remember if we get the ball to start the half or not. Let's go, boys. You don't have to get open. You just got to clear out these DBs. Oh, there he is. Picked. Wow. He covered both guys. Did you see that? He covered both guys. I threw it to the wrong guy. Look at this. He's going to cover all three. 
Look at this. All right, so he bumps them. So they're playing a zone, right? They're playing cover three. <clears throat> He's going to cover all three. I hit circle. Right here. I hit circle. And he breaks. And if I throw it to him, that guy picks it. So I would have had to throw to this guy. His back is turned to the receiver. And he's breaking on the ball before I can even throw. How does he know who I'm throwing to? Yeah, when we go to uh, down to Florida to visit my dad, um, we, we go to Whataburger. like to go to Whataburger for uh, the breakfast, Bob's. Um, usually get that before we go out and play golf. Of course he throws that dot. They're going to march down and score a touchdown before half. Now they're going to run the ball. Love the game for recruiting. I hate the game for the gameplay. Even that said, it's still a thousand percent better than Madden because Madden is complete and utter dog shit. The Frostbite engine should never be used to play uh, any sports game ever. <clears throat> I'm, I'm pretty much done playing Madden. <clears throat> and then they, they said, hey, we're going to have new... Uh, New scouting and stuff for the draft. What is this? Come on. <laughs> Come on. My guys are running the wrong direction. I'm not even controlling them, and they're running the wrong direction. The new Madden scouting system is broke as fuck. Look at this. W what happened there? He blew up two two defensive linemen or two linebackers. Look at that. Look at two two linebackers. Look at seventy seven. Has his back to the play. Never turns around. 59, 69 turns away from the tackle, and he punches 21 in the face. <laughs> How are you supposed to win with those animations? I don't, I, I just, I don't get it. I really hate this game. I absolutely hate this game. Go away, go lay down, leave me the fuck alone. God. Dogs are over here trolling me. Just go away. If I could find another game to play that you guys would enjoy watching, I would. I've tried, and no one cares. 
don't care about the golf. They don't care about the XCOM. All you guys want to watch is this game. And so I get it, but this game is killing me. So. Closey, thank you. Appreciate it, man. Welcome in to the uh, Von Ride Bitch Fest. <clears throat> oh, I would chill out if it wouldn't do this every goddamn day I play. Every day, it's the same story. Now they're going to run the ball. Notice that the first tackle is always shed. They break every, every first tackle. Oh, we're raging, Macon. We're raging. We we beat Kentucky fifty-two to twenty to win the SEC. We're the SEC champs, but we're ranked thirteen. A nine and three Ohio, a uh, nine and three Notre Dame's ahead of us. A couple other two lost teams are ahead of us. We're we're nine and three. All right, I'm sorry. We're we're ten and two. We are ten and two. They were nine and three. I'm sorry. No, no, we're eleven and two now, aren't we? We're eleven and two. Eleven and two. And uh, the game's pissing me off with the uh, 9 million break tackles and uh, psychic DBs that have 41 break tackle and you can't tackle them on the uh, return. I need 464 yards and five touchdowns for my quarterback to get to 5,000 yards passing and 40 touchdowns. I don't know that we're going to get there. I mean, I've had a couple of really long passes. So I need basically 215 yards and two touchdowns. All right, we can do that. All right, nobody wants to get open. We'll just get the first down. This is our backup and running back. Our starter had uh, 600 yards and then broke his tailbone. So uh, this guy came in and he's got over 600 yards now. And our quarterback had over 600. So we should be able to run. Oh, wow. All that mess for one yard. All right, well. You gonna press circle? No. So we have we have a curl over there. We have a fade. We have an out. Two slants. Here 
What a catch. All right, need one more touchdown pass and a hundred and fifty six yards more. And we got twelve minutes to do that. Watch for the option. Wonderful. All right. Well, we'll go with. Uh... Go down. Need to switch my defense. Didn't have the right one step set up. This guy's trying to kill me. All right. <clears throat> Three, four over. Please run the ball to the right. Nope. Gotcha. takes four guys to tackle him. Four. Four guys. We go down immediately when we're hit in open field, and it takes four guys to get this guy, and he rolls over to get the first down. I could go outside in my backyard and dig a four-foot hole and do less work than it takes to tackle somebody in this game.
You do exactly what you're supposed to do. You do everything right, and the game fucks you. I stop him, and and I didn't fumble that ball. I didn't move my punt returner around. He moved on his own and, and muffed the ball. For all the good the guys at revamp have done to make this game better, they've fucked us on the AI. Literally fucked us on the AI. Whatever changes they made to the AI needs to be undone because it's it's ridiculous. I have never had a fake punt run against me and I've had 15 of them since June alone. See that? Forced fumble. I have it on conservative, too. That's why I don't run away from defenders. I run straight into defenders so that I go down faster. Okay. And why would that be? He does not know who he's fucking with because I don't fuck around. I don't care if you're joking around. I've been in a fucking mood and he's going to come in here cracking jokes. He's lucky I didn't ban him on um, just straight up ban his ass. Oh, he runs out of bounds. <laughs> he ran straight out of bounds. What crazy do he came in and said my title is uh, against Twitch's terms of service because the Aggies are trash. So I took the trash out. He's timed out for 600 seconds. Oh, I know he's been here before. He, he picked the wrong fucking time to be a goddamn comedian. And honestly, I don't give two fucks if he comes back after the uh, after the uh, after the timeout. Exactly, I'm in here raging about a game fucking me right and left, and you're gonna crack jokes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't fuck with me at all. I'm too old. I don't give one shit. What did I have? I just said the other day, I don't give a shit about your feelings. I care about your thoughts, not your feelings. So, right? Tell me what you think, not what you feel. So, I told him what I thought of his joke. That's picked. Incomplete pass. 
intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Thank you. At least it was an incomplete pass. And he's fucking hurt. How long is he hurt for? He's out for the game. Well, he's not going to get his 5,000 yards. Now we got to win the game with the backup who has no speed whatsoever. In fact... Let's go look at our depth chart, because we have barely used this guy at all. So we're going from 81 speed to a 58 speed. At least we can throw. So we're now we're on to a pocket passer. And we have no time to throw the ball. I just spread them out and run. Make them have an extra DB. Alright, seven more minutes of this garbage. We can hold these guys, get the ball back, score one more time, we should be good to go. Got him. Overloaded.
Wow, we actually broke a tackle with uh, a wide receiver out in the open field. All right, let's see how much time we can run off the clock. And they're like 38 yard line. Running the option with a 58 speed quarterback. Welcome in, USN. Glad to see you, man. Happy Friday to you as well. EA's got me in a mood. Oh. Uh, it's possible that, like, Sunday morning, um, like 10 a.m. ish, um, I might be. Uh, I don't know if we'll stream or not, but I might be streaming uh, PGA Golf with Q. She asked if we wanted to uh, play golf this weekend, either Saturday or Sunday morning. So we might be uh, streaming that, and I think I fixed it so that it'll show both golfers. Hey, we're uh, we're about to go 12-2, and two, but we're getting dissed by the committee because we won the SEC, and they only have us ranked 13th going into the Peach Bowl. So, we, our first loss was the first game of the season. We lost to Kentucky by 10, and EAA was just killing me. And then we lost a game against Alabama yesterday where they punted the ball and it rolled out of bounds on the one. It, it, it didn't do the hard skip and bounce. It had a soft bounce and rolled sideways out at the one. So we went 99 yards and scored, and then I went for two, and we got, got it. So we were up one. Uh, one point and they uh, we kicked off and their first play went 75 yards for a touchdown so I had 28 seconds left and I marched down the field and I scored a touchdown with four seconds left and I went for two and they uh, called three timeouts in a row and after the third timeout they had a different defense and I didn't just take a delay a game call and kick the extra point to tie it I uh, went for it and threw it to the wrong guy and we lost by one so that's our two losses. We did get revenge on Kentucky this morning when we beat them in the uh, SEC championship. So, And we have a stupid good recruiting class. So it's, it's, a, it's a top five for me. <laughs> that's how good. But yeah, PGA, I haven't played PGA in a bit. But I think, we, I think I've got it fixed so that we could... Uh, you can actually see both golfers uh, hit their balls instead of just watching me hit and then seeing the other ball fly through the air and land. I think we got that fixed. So. How was that a pitch? Did you see that? I want to see that pitch. How oh, that's, bam! Oh, they're being a big time asshole today. They're being they're. Uh, how did he pitch this ball? I want to see how he did this. How is that not a fumble? And how did that, not only, not only that, look how far this pitch goes. And look how fast it is. Zing. 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Haven't drank any yet today. I came close. <laughs> oh. A double crossing cocksucker. Yeah, we have it handy. We always have it handy, but I haven't uh, felt the need to uh, partake. And we have such a stupid good recruiting class that I don't want to leave now. But if the Iowa job's open, I promised Jimmy we would go. So I'm stuck. We really need James Franklin to uh, stay one more year. Just one more year. Nice throw. And he ran out of bounds. <sighs> oh, wow. Wide open right down the middle. I don't know what 20 was doing, but he sure wasn't playing center field. All right, we're going to have to do the onside kick here. And uh, I'm, I'm not putting my uh, recover team. We're doing this. Oh, they're going to kick it. Wow, they don't think I can get a first down. They seriously don't think I can get a first down. Why would they not onside kick that? All right, let's get ready for the big time EA cheese now, man. <laughs> uh, let's see. They must. They're gonna strip this ball out. Watch. I'm calling it right now. They're gonna strip this for a, a fumble, and then they're gonna score a touchdown. Or they're gonna hit stick me and make me fumble. Now they call timeout. This is what we're doing. All right, they're out of timeouts. So, you know what that means. Conservative carry in full effect. <clears throat> All right, 40 seconds are off this clock. Got to burn every last second off of this thing. Go down. We don't need to score. I mean, I will eventually. I'll kick a field goal. With two seconds left. I have to, but we're. Uh... Come on, hurry up. I got to send a man in motion. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
brings up second and five. I'm calling timeout so he's not tired. I don't want to get a fumble because he's tired. See if I can get in those last six yards. Then we'll call timeout, kick the field goal, game over. Call timeout now. And we'll just kick this field goal. Make it a two-score game. And game over. Game's over, so now we're going to practice onside kick. Only lost my shit a little bit today. It's getting old. It's getting old for me. It's gotta be getting old for you guys. Well, that injury cost us our quarterback his 5,000 yards as a freshman, but that's okay. <sighs> so tiring. So mentally tiring. Now we get to find out if we get to play with these guys or we have to go to Iowa. Look at those TFLs and sacks. Not bad at all. Yeah, doesn't do much for my dis dis my uh, disposition though. I I'm, I just I I lost my shit the other day when I spiked the controller and Jimmy clipped it. So I'm as fun as that it is to uh, to see. It's 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 uh, out of control. Nobody wants to watch somebody out of control. What I really need is for my arm to heal so I can go back to working out and I can burn off a lot of negative energy. Because I have no way to get rid of the negative energy other than to scream and act like a fucking idiot on camera. And I don't run. I can't run. Um, I have never been a runner. I hate running. So I can't like go do that and uh, it's too dangerous to ride a fucking bike around. You got too many idiots who are not paying attention. <laughs> so. Can't do the yard work and side projects because I can't lift anything heavy and the shoulder prevents me from doing stuff anyway, so. I would go back and play Super Mega Baseball, but I'm I'm kind of burned out. That's why I haven't played it in so long. As much as I play this game, I was playing that game like that um, from May of 2020. 
until like November, October, November. And then that's when I met Lou and George over on uh, Tips for Gamers NCAA streams and started uh, streaming myself and I hardly play it anymore. All right, so we broke Johnny Manziel's record. That's good. And we're only up to number two, or 12. We're 12 and two and we're uh, 12. Let's go look at this. So Central Florida beat Oklahoma by seven. So that's their th second in a row. They've won four now. So that might be their third in a row and fourth in five years. Had we stayed there, we would have won five in a row. Army's two and Wake Forest is three. They're a two-star school, not even as good as us. <laughs> San Jose State's not as good as us. We have a three-loss Georgia team in front of us. It's crazy. It's just fucking crazy. Yeah, we're 12 and both. We're 12 and both. So... All right, let's look at our stats. So he passed for just shy of 4,900 yards. 21 picks, I got to cut that down. 27 sacks, I got to cut that down. We had two guys with 700 yards. So he would have been over 1,400 yards and almost 30 touchdowns if he doesn't get hurt. Lewis, I kind of forgot to use him. Um, yesterday and today, or we would have got him to a thousand yards. 14 pancakes by our sophomore center. Gotta like that. Look at all those TFLs. And just think how many we don't have because of broken tackles. For example, that 60 yard run yesterday. Army, 2,300 yards. Remember we kicked their ass last year at Ohio State. All right. So let me go in here and uh, pull up my depth chart. All right. So we have a freshman. We have a sophomore. And we have a 68 freshman red shirt. If he leaves, I don't care because we're going to cut him anyway. Sophomore, sophomore. This needs to be 68. All right. Fullback, we got to go with the 66. Wide receiver. Um, we This is going to be an 83 redshirt sophomore. This is going to be an 83 freshman. He started as an 80. This will be 79 sophomore that started as a 73. And then this is going to be the 73 freshman that's being red shirted because we don't want to lose him. All right, good there. Tight end, we're all good. Left tackle. This needs to be the 75 freshman red shirt. Left guard, I don't care because it's a 57. Center is good. This needs to be a 68 freshman. All right. Right guard, I don't care. Right tackle, I don't care. Left end. 
um, 75 sophomore and a 73 freshman. Right tackle is a sophomore and I don't care about the 64 freshman. D tackle, we got a junior, we got an 81 freshman transfer. So he'll come in as a sophomore. So basically this needs to be the 69. Everybody else is good. They're not gonna transfer because they're juniors and seniors. Middle linebacker, we need a 79. Actually, he's an 80. And that's it. Right outside. Don't care. Corner. All right, this is a 78 sophomore. 73 freshman. That's good. Free safety needs to be the 69 sophomore. There's a 70. Oops. Not it. Good junior. Free safety 69. There we go. Strong safety. He needs a 67. Everything else is good. All right. All right, let's save this and then we'll advance and see if uh, Iowa fires James Franklin. They may not even offer me a job, to be honest. They may not offer it. So even if the job's open, I may not get it. So we'll find out. So we won one less game this year than Texas A&M had won the previous three years combined. All right. Moment of truth. Where's Jimmy at? Army's coach retired. Alabama. Let's see if they... Uh, next offer. Whose army going to take? Army took San Jose State's head coach. Okay. All of a sudden, Alabama's not on there. They just they must have renewed the contract of uh, the guy they had. So Wisconsin wants me. Cal doesn't. Now Cal does. Florida State wants me. Who's Cal going to take? All right, they took Virginia Tech's coach. Penn State wants me. Indiana really wants me. Bo Pelini retired. Washington doesn't want me. Now they do. Oh, look, revamp. Texas fired their coach. They're a two star school. They went two and ten. Texas two and ten, two star school. Wow. Uh, I would if they had uniforms that were worth a shit, I would go there and turn them into a natty. Eh. Two star. They're at the bottom of the Big Twelve. That's amazing. Yeah, they better fire him. They want Sonny Cumbie. Uh-oh. Uh James Franklin got fired, boys.
They don't want me. They don't want me. They did on the previous page, but they don't want me here. <laughs> oh. I hit view contract and I hit X. If I hit X, I can sign this contract. Jimmy, Jimmy, I don't see you around, man. I hit X, I can go there. What do you guys want me to do? I know what Jimmy wants me to do. I know what I promised. We're going to go all the way through the carousel and uh, we'll come back because I saved it, right? So I saved and we can reload the save. We saved, we can reload the save. Cincinnati, they're five and seven. San Jose State. Yeah, not not doing that. Nope. Nope. Not playing Mountain West. And I've watched enough of George playing Mountain West. It's not for me. <laughs> Houston 111. Yeah, I'm sure they would love me to go there. Georgia State. At least Georgia State has a nice uni uh, uniform, a nice stadium. The revamps updated their stadium. Eastern Michigan. I would start there, but I'm not going to go there from, from here. Wow, that job took forever. I didn't think they were going to offer it to me. <sighs> if we don't take the job... Well, Ace, we just left. So what we did, we, we spent five years at Texas Tech, and we won four natties in a row, and we left and the chat picked Central Florida. So we went there and we won a natty um, in year three, and then we lost a natty on a Hail Mary in year four, and I left. I chose to leave. And we dicked around two years at Ohio State, just so I could show them how I recruit with a with a big school. We went 13-1 and one both years, didn't win a natty, didn't even play for a natty. So I didn't want to make them ridiculously hard to play against. Um, should I, you know, had I gotten the job at Iowa? So I left and we went to Texas A&M um, because Iowa didn't fire James Franklin. And so now they did fire James Franklin and I've got this stupid good recruiting class and uh, we want to play. We want to, I mean, this is the recruiting class, right? This is what I'm, this is what I'm turning down playing with is this 98 speed running back 96 excel 92 spin 95 juke 93 elusive 70 catching and route running you can play corner this 98 speed corner this 86 speed 96 excel linebacker this guy's got 95 speed at corner this guy that can play four positions He's a quarterback, but he could play running back. He could play wide receiver. He could play DB. This 94 speed corner. This 95 speed corner. Free safety and strong at 88 speed. He's a backup quarterback. Um, this Dusty Chavis is getting cut. 
And this guy, 84 speed with 95 excel, 80 hit power, 78 tackle, 91 pursuit. But he's also 80 catch, 80 spec catch, 84 route running. So he's a tight end slash linebacker. And we're going to play him at linebacker. Um, at least that's what I would choose. So this class is clearly number one in the nation. And we still have that last guy to get that's uh, an 80 overall tackle. So I'm turning down playing with that class for four years. To take the job at Iowa that I promised Jimmy two blunts multiple months ago. I wish Jimmy was in here. Because I want I want to know what his uh, do I have permission to not go to Iowa, <laughs> or does he want me to hold hold my promise to go play at Iowa? Does he want to see me play with this badass recruiting class? Because I really want to stay here and beat Alabama and put up seventy points. Let's go back in. Penn State hired the uh, an air raid an air raid coach. Wow. And then we were talking earlier about this. Texas is a two star, two and ten team. <laughs> and there it is. They don't want it there. They haven't offered me. If I do this, then they offer me the job. We haven't even had this opportunity, all right? So this is, this is what, 10 years in, roughly? More than that, played five, nine, 10, 11, 12. This is 16 years in. So I was an offensive coordinator for four years. second There you go. Hit exclamation vote and type in zero for Texas A&M and one for Iowa. But you have to hit exclamation vote first. Get 30 seconds.
And we've only had one vote, so we're not going to go off of one vote, so... Yeah, need more than one vote for this to work. And it won't let me change the timer. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We'll start this again. I can't change the timer. Here, hold on. Try this. No, no, no. There's a new follow. I am missing it. Sorry. I'm trying to. Can't uh, figure out how to do. How to do poll. I don't have it set up on my dashboard. All right, let's start this again. What's up, Beast Mode? We uh, finished our first season at Texas A&M at 12 and two and won the SEC, won the Peach Bowl. And now we're trying to figure out if we're gonna take this job offer at Iowa, like I promised Jimmy. Yeah, I haven't accepted yet. I haven't hit X, so. I have a stupid, stupid good recruiting class for Texas A&M. I have two players with 98 speed. Um, so we're, we're doing the, the poll to uh, see if people want me to go or not. I wish Jimmy was in here. If he gave me permission to, to stay, that would be awesome. But he's not in here. <clears throat> this is my vote. So at least we have one. There's no timer on this. I took the timer off. So everybody's got plenty of time to vote. If you want me to uh, leave after one year, go to Iowa, fulfill this promise to Jimmy. If we go to Iowa, we're going to stay there, and I'm going to stay there until I win four or five natties. We're not, we're not leaving after one year. We're going to stay there, and we're going to build that team up to where it's a 99 overall every year, and we just dominate the shit out of the Big Ten. So that's what, that's what the deal is. If I go to Iowa, we're going to be at Iowa for a while. At least four years, probably five. Um, if we stay here at Texas A&M, then we'll, uh, we'll definitely win a natty with, the, with this recruiting class. And uh, the job opens up at Iowa again. We'll, we'll leave and go there. I mean, I might even just stay here until that job opens up. But... Um, Anyway, this is where we're at. So do I stay or do I go? So put an exclamation point vote and put zero to stay at Texas A&M. Put one to go to Iowa. Um, I turned off the timer, so everybody should have plenty of time to vote on this. Um, I know we got some people that have me uh, tabbed up, so they're probably not listening, watching. Um, <clears throat> need to uh, need to add a quick action for a poll so anyway that's where we're at so uh, I wonder if this will let me no it won't do it alright so I'm going to look at the clock and I'll give you guys uh, another full minute and then we'll end it and uh, go with the vote total from there 
It sits at three for Iowa and two for Texas A&M at the moment. God, that is such a good class, though. That is such a good class. God. Um. All right. Poll's done. We're going to Iowa. But I'm going to exit out of here. And I'm going to exit out of here. And we're going to reload this save because I want to take a picture of this recruiting class. And then we'll go back in and we'll take the Iowa job. Day has finally come. So we're going to go to Iowa as soon as I take a picture of this recruiting class. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate that. Welcome in. All right, boys, one and done. Just like Kentucky basketball, that's all they recruit, one and done. <clears throat> all right, well, Texas A&M ought to kick ass in the SEC for a while with this team. Won't be surprised we have to play them. I'm not going to put them on the schedule, so we'll have to play them in a bowl game. <laughs> they tie they they hired <coughs> 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 
<laughs> they hired. All right. Okay. Now they, they took the guy from North Carolina. Okay. So they went to Eastern Michigan. Are you fucking high? <coughs> All right. So now we get to do the rest of their recruiting and the depth chart. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to get the uh, Iowa depth chart ready to go. Second here. Um, we'll see. I haven't decided. What I have found with joining the team is you end up getting a bunch of people that hardly ever come into the stream and then they come in here, just get on the team and then you never see them again. And, uh, not too keen on having a bunch of guys on my team that are uh, people not in the stream. Um, you know, you got a bunch of channel points because you're in here every day and you want to spend them on something. I totally get that, but I also don't want 15 guys on my team that are Joe Blow that never shows up. So, because it doesn't do me any good. <laughs> um, let's see. All right. Depth chart is wiped out, so we can move on. At least we have a decent offensive coordinator, level 14. Claire's leaving. No undergrads. And I don't think anybody's going to get drafted on this team either. <clears throat> wow. We got a bunch of guys going early. Funny thing is, I didn't recruit any of those guys. We only spent one year there. <laughs> All right. Anybody want to come play? Let's look at the draft first. Nobody. We didn't draft any of those guys either. Well, maybe Stokes. He's a junior, right? No, we didn't draft him. Because we were there two years. This would be the third year. So they'll start having guys drafted that we um, recruited. And m we'll had four guys go. Central Florida. Gucci. Mr. Murder. Hindsight Grim. Beast Mode. The Pimp. Jimbo Chill Pimp. <laughs> All those guys got drafted. Dark Devil. 99 overall strong safety. So that was our old school.
Yeah, I think we easily could have won a natty with Texas A&M next year. Yeah, Rocky Top, that was I was really torn, really conflicted. I really, really didn't want to not play with that class. I wanted to play with that class, um, but I made a promise, and so Jimmy's not here to say um, you don't have to do that today and play with these guys, so we're going to go, and then I don't have to worry about that. Um, and, and they got some decent players, guys I can work with. Can't work with that or that. Good God. All right. We have to scout all these guys. 51. Are you fucking kidding me? I'll keep the 66, but these two guys are getting cut. And and this guy, 88 speed, that, that might keep him on the team because that's um, backup worthy to just fill a spot with a warm body. That's not bad. That's not great. 66 athlete, 86 speed. He's a wide receiver. Oh, jeez. These guys don't know how to recruit offensive linemen. A 59 middle linebacker. Ninety-two speed. Eighty-six speed. <laughs> I'll have to look at the team before I do that. There's a good corner. 93 speed, 94 excel, 88 play rec. All right, that helps. Roy Hobbs. Uh, I'm not even going to bid on this guy. Well, we may need a fullback, so I'll take him. Man, we don't need any 55 defensive ends. And we may need a tight end, so. That's it? We only have three guys left? All right. Let's put these in order numerically, so. See what I'm working with. Plus, I need to look and see what they need on the depth. 59. God, that's just horrendous. I never take anybody below 67. <clears throat> Ever. Unless it's a fullback. All right. Let's go see what their needs are. An F senior. All we have is one senior at center. We have five seniors on the offensive line. Five. Five seniors. And we only have three offensive linemen that are coming back after next year. <laughs> oh my god oh. D free safety that's not good hey, at least get a B punter <clears throat> alright so we have no needs other than offensive line I don't think I have enough points to give to get this guy. Um, we're not on his board. All right, I got to I got to look at guys that were on their board. Forty guys. All right. Well, let's sort by uh, interest. Three-star wide receiver that runs a four-six. No. A defensive end that has a four-sixty squat. No. 
No. 4-4 four, four wide receiver. 3,000 points behind. Two thousand points behind him. <laughs> this guy's this guy's squad is three eighty five. Noodle legs. We're three thousand points behind. That's pointless. Runs a four eight forty. He's already been offered. He's terrible. He's terrible. Too many points back. There's nothing out here. There's nothing, nothing to steal. For 17,000 points behind. All right, looks like we're uh, we're gonna go with what we got. We're gonna have a 13-man class at best. All right, well, we know we're putting a lot of points there. So let's see, what do we want to do? Let's put 2,000 points here. Let's put 3,000 points here. Actually, we're going to make it 4,000. And we're going to give him 8. That was such a fucking class, and we don't even get to try it. <laughs> we don't even get to try it. I never get to play with the 98 speed running back. I will post that class um, on Discord to uh, memorialize it. All right. We're going to take... Iowa out of the uh, pro style offense in the pound of ground and we're going to turn these guys yeah I had one at Central Florida that's that's my only natty I've won since I left Texas Tech so we're staying at Iowa and we're going to win four at least four natties before we leave how did we not get the tie we put 8,000 points on the right end game this game <laughs> uh, so they put 15,000 points on him god I can't stop getting trolled by this game I can't, can't, I can't. It's just amazing. This game wants me to quit playing. It literally wants me to quit playing. I've told you before, they either put 2,000 or 3,000 on a bunch of guys, or they put max points. All right, we did get the number one class because, we're look, this is 40, 41st, right? But... Iowa's is 41st, but we got the number one class because this is what we signed right here. Three, five, uh, yeah, three, four, four, five stars. All these four stars. All these three stars. There. That's what we signed. And they went up to a five star. 
All right, let's look at our bonuses. Do we have any to work with? Not as good as it was before. Yeah, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. It's what it is, man. What it is. All right, let's go. Three and nine. <laughs> Hey, at least we're in the uh, West for the Big Ten, right? We got Illinois who has a new head coach. We have Iowa, um, Minnesota. Um, who the fuck else? I don't even know what, what's in that division. All right, let's go. Do they have any athletes they got to change? Yeah. 86 speed, 6'7", 230, got 98 Excel, 86 speed with 90 Excel, this guy's got to be linebacker or safety, spin move, juke move, catch, spec catch, he's a wide receiver, what else can he play, man zone, press, release, yeah, he's a wide receiver, 79 wide receiver. I could look at him at tight end. It's this guy, right? He's a 53 tight end. He's a wide receiver. He's not a tight end. 75 free safety. I think I'd rather have my wide receiver. <clears throat> um, let's just start at the top alright quarterback we have a senior with 86 speed but there's dog shit behind him we got a quarterback we do have a quarterback I don't know what his throw power is 81 throw power <laughs> Do I need to turn change this to a uh, an option, straight up option team, straight up option. I mean, we got pocket passers I can play, but wow! All right, we're gonna dink and dunk this first year. Eighty-eight speed halfback, eighty-seven speed. I can redshirt the senior. We do have a ninety-three speed. That's a junior. 89 speed sophomore. The 88 speed senior has 87 break tackle. 95 spin. 95 juke. This is catching. I missed it. I went too far. 86 injury. Ew. All right, we can run the ball. I'm glad I took that fullback, so now we don't have to recruit one next year. We can just redshirt this guy. <clears throat> Bolingbrook. So we have a sophomore and a freshman at the top of the wide receiver depth chart. And he's only 86 speed. He's 83 speed. He's 91, 94, 92. 90. All right, we got wide receivers. This this guy might have to go play safety. We'll find out in a minute. I got more wide receivers than I need. But if I don't need a if I don't have a free safety, then this guy's gonna we'll have a six foot seven free safety. All right. So he's gonna play. He'll be the backup. He'll get redshirted. He'll be the third string. So what we'll do is we'll recruit a starter this offseason all right 79 he's a 74 so we got our starter for next year the year after we're good get two baby backs here all right so we'll move him to uh, left guard what do we got at center all right so we're gonna move this guard Move him to center. Right guard. Right tackle. 
Ooh, 75 and an 83. 79, 87. We got an offensive line for at least this year. All right, so we're going to move nobody. We'll leave them there. This guy is just getting straight up cut. So I need to find out what do I have? Yeah. We're going to put him over here just so we actually have a warm body as a backup. And we'll move this guy left tackle and we'll cut him. All right. Can he get redshirted? No. I can redshirt the senior though. So he can play and we'll have him next year as like an 83. He'll play. Ew, I'm really tempted to redshirt the sophomore too. Redshirt both these guys. All right, left end. He's definitely getting red shirted. One of these guys is going to kick to the other side. Yeah. All right. Starter, backup, red shirt. Starter, backup, and he plays as a backup too. God, we have so many juniors. Any of these guys red shirted? No. Of course not. They have all these guys on the same class. That means I gotta recruit at least. These guys are these guys suck. So I'll have four seniors the next year, right? So I need to recruit three defensive tackles, so we can keep this guy, cut this guy, have two others. God, we're gonna have to go big at D tackle. All right, outside. We'll redshirt this guy. Yeah, the 59's going away. Right, so... What do we have at middle again? This guy needs to... Yeah, I don't want to move him. It'd be nice to have a middle linebacker that can cover. These have all red-shirted. So if I move this guy to middle, <clears throat> he immediately becomes a starter. And that lets me red-shirt one of these guys. All right, all right. We're, we're not in bad shape on defense at all. Offense, we got to get some. We, we got to get some more defensive linemen because we have four guys um, graduating in two years. But we got to work on offensive line depth. We got to. We definitely got to find a quarterback. Uh, running backs okay. Wide receivers okay. We got to get another tight end. We can find a better fullback that'll work. Um, Ninety-three speed corner. Yep. I am not redshirting him. Although I could. Actually, what I, let me see. Redshirted, not redshirted, redshirted, not redshirted, redshirted. He's a 63. He could be the number five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redshirt one of these two sophomores to split up this four-man class. So that next year, we after this coming season, we'll, we would have a senior, sophomore, junior, sophomore, junior, junior, sophomore. Okay, we're good. We're, we're good there. Free safety. 67's getting red shirted. This guy's getting red shirted. We'll play the 73 and red shirt the 76. Eighty-six speed. Let me move him to secondary just to see what he looks like so I can compare numbers. <clears throat> I 
That block shed of a 38. That means he's a free safety. <laughs> he's their best free safety. Easily the best free safety. Doesn't have great man. He has bet the best zone, and his press isn't that bad. Play rack. He's got the highest play rack. I'm gonna leave this guy at free safety. We're gonna have a six foot seven free safety. <laughs> Willie White. All right. Let's look at our kickers. All right. Ninety-one kick power. I don't care about the accuracy because we're not simming. So he's a junior. He's a sophomore. And I only recruit power kickers. Ninety and a seventy. So he's a junior. So we're gonna recruit a guy. Yeah, we have to recruit his replacement. <laughs> All right. God, these quarterbacks. He can scramble. He definitely can scramble. He's not very elusive. He's got decent carry for a quarterback. Well, one good thing, I'm putting this guy at free safety, so he has 81 catch, 82 spec catch, so he ought to be able to make some inter, uh, um, interceptions, right, and be able to run with the ball after he gets it. So that's one reason why I like ha having athletes as uh, defensive backs that can also play wide receiver because their catch rating means you're going to be picking more passes off. Look at this guy, 78 catching. Yeah, anybody else on the team that can throw? No. All right, I think we're good. So once we get through all of this, I'm going to have to put this board together before we start doing the recruiting. And that we know the recruiting is going to take me over an hour. So you need to do a bathroom break or go do this or do that, this is probably the perfect time to go do that. I don't even look at training results because I'll look at it on the next page when we go to cuts. So we're going to be stuck in here for at least an hour and a half. So you got time to go do whatever you need to do. All right, we only have to cut five guys. We're not cutting any of those. So we'll get a quarterback. We'll redshirt him next year. We'll get a quarterback and redshirt him. So I'm not going to redshirt this dude. We're going to leave all these quarterbacks in here. Worst case is I could redshirt him the following year. But I really like having them like in this order because we'll 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 just keep red we'll just keep recruiting quarterbacks for the next four years. All right, running back. What I could do is yeah, if I redshirt this guy, then we got two seniors next year. I'm going to keep this guy because at least he has 88 speed. I am not having a 77 speed wide receiver on my team. Zacaroni21. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it, man. We're, we're doing a lot of uh, boring stuff right now, unless you like recruiting. So, welcome in anyway. And uh, we're trying to get this roster together. I'm not going to cut him. I'm not going to cut him because we, our starter is going to graduate. Uh, my wife.
I don't know if I'm still streaming. I got a voicemail from somebody. Don't care. Um, right guard. We're going to keep the 66 so we have a backup for this guy. We'll just recruit a replacement for him next, this next class. Yep. Yep, yep. And we're going to redshirt this guy. He's going to get redshirted. We'll redshirt the freshman. I might cut one of these D tackles because we don't need, I mean, I'm not, and not the freshman, like this guy right here with 55 speed. Um, just so I don't have four seniors next year. <clears throat> He's not going to play He's sitting there fourth on the depth chart. So yeah, we'll cut this joker. Two more to go. None of those. All right. He's going away because we already have a junior freshman sophomore, right? So he's not playing and he sucks. 78 speed at free safety. That'd be worse than having me play. All right. I'm not cutting this guy even though he's 77 speed because I want to redshirt this guy. I'm going to play him, redshirt him, so I split that class up. So that next year we'll have a senior and a junior and a sophomore. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to recruit this guy's replacement this year. So I can redshirt him next year. And we need a kicker. Alright, we got to cut one guy and it's going to be that D-tackle. Because he's slow as molasses. We've already got five guys. We can have a defensive end come play inside if we need to. And that breaks up all of that class. So we're going to need at least two D, two D tackles, probably three, so I can cut this um, Adrian Johnson. All right, we're good. Oh, Zacharoni here. Give me a second, boys. I'm going to put this on Discord. If you like recruiting, uh, we left Texas A&M um, at the end of uh, this past season, and uh, um, we had the number one recruiting class. When it's done uploading, I'll let you know. I'll send you my link on the chat for Discord. And uh, you can see the class that we had. Um, I've never had two guys with 98 speed before. And we left and didn't get to use a, a, a running back with all of his agility ratings in the 90s. It's ridiculous. So, I'm bummed we didn't get to play with that class because it was probably one of my top five ever. Give me a couple years at Iowa and we'll we'll duplicate it or do better. We're actually in pretty good shape um, for next season, this upcoming season and the following season. Oh, Jesus, hold on, guys. Hello. Man of the hour, Iowa. there he is, Mr. Jimmy Two Blunts. Jimmy, we uh, we had to take a poll vote to to make sure we were going to do this because that recruiting class at Texas A and M was so damn goaded out that I I didn't want to leave and not use it. But yeah, exactly. All right, so 
If you want to see that class, I took a picture of it. It's on my Discord. It's on the uh, Show Me Your Recruits page. It was the number one class in the country. And uh, I had four corners with 94, 95 speed or better. I had two guys with 98 speed. It was stupid. Um, Jimmy, I'll show you the uh, roster for Iowa here in a second. I put 8,000 points on a 78 overall defensive end, and Louisville beat me. Louisville put like 15,000 points on a defensive end at the end of the year and snaked this out of a 78. I'm not happy. <clears throat> and Iowa recruited a couple of offensive linemen in the 50s. Can you believe that bullshit? All right, so let me save this for a second. Good thing is I have all of my Iowa graphics <clears throat> for a stream and all that stuff done. They're already done. Yeah. All my graphics are done. I don't have to do anything but substitute them in. So we're good to go as far as that. That'll save me a whole lot of time. But... Um, so, Jimmy, we beat... We got revenge on Kentucky for beating us in week one. We beat them 52-20 to 20 in the uh, SEC championship, and then we beat Pitt 45-35 in the uh, Peach Bowl. Um, and I uh, almost spiked the controller again today. I dropped it on the floor three times, but I almost spiked it. All right, let's get the schedule out of the way first. A B schedule. Why is it a B? God, I hate open weeks that late. This is not going to be an open week. This is going to be an open week. Who can we play? Ooh. We can play a 2-10 and 10 Texas team revamp. <laughs> we could play... Hey, let's play Louisville since they stole our recruit. What do you say? Let's play Lulville. Lulville. Fuck you, baby back. Stealing my guy, we're going to kick your ass. All right. Let me check the home and aways first. Two home, two way. Two home, two way. Home and away, home and away. All right. We're good as far as that goes. And I can't change any of these. Get to play Ohio State. Yay. We just left all these guys. Lowellville. All right. Rutgers. So it's Iowa State. We have to play them. It's a it's a rivalry game, and we have to kick the clown's ass every fucking year. So we are not playing Clemson. Jimmy, my quarterback has like 86 speed, but he has an 81 throw power. <laughs> 81 throw power. I want to see what Texas A&M is ranked. Let's let's get down there and see what they are. We just left, and they are number sixteen. UCF, they've won three straight Natties. They're number one. All right, guys, who do you want me to see me play in this game? Do you want me to play Alabama? I want me to play an easy, easy team since we have a, a, I mean, a B schedule is a B schedule. Clemson looks like they suck in this game. <clears throat> and you want me to play Alabama so you can see me spike my controller again? First game of the year. I don't want to do that because I don't know my team yet. I don't know what I can and cannot do. Although, although I know I can't throw it deep. Um... I'm not opposed to playing a ranked team. I just don't want to play them. We can start the year playing Kansas and Iowa State. I think we're in the Big 12. Marshall. Fuck Marshall.
Hmm. Any of these teams jump out at you? How about uniforms? We could play somebody that has cool ass uniforms. Oregon, Oregon State. You want me to play UCF? <laughs> I don't think they have any players that we've recruited there. I think that's all on the computer now. Same thing with Texas Tech. I could play a 2 and 10 Texas. We could kick some Longhorn ass. <laughs> Kansas is ranked 24th. All right, let's knock them out of the ranking. We'll go to Kansas because I want to play Iowa State at home. <clears throat> All right. Honestly, if some of these teams in the Big Ten get ranked and we beat them, what I'm, what I'm worried is... Kansas falls out of the top 25, and Iowa State never gets in the top 25, and so our non-conference schedule sucks. Let's not play Kansas. Let's not play Kansas. Let's play... I know BYU's got a goaded out offense, but their defense sucks. <laughs> Revamp, got your wish. <clears throat> Actually. We're going to play in a neutral zone, neutral site. So we're, we're going to play, uh, we're going to play at the Jerry Dome. All right. I have extra DLC, so I get an extra, I get an extra um, pipeline state. So look, that's good. That's good. Uh, Illinois is low-key good recruiting state, and they don't have a lot of schools to compete with, right? Ohio is always good. Georgia's good. Florida's good. Pennsylvania is good. So is New Jersey. You don't have a lot of people to compete with in New Jersey, and it's not that far away. Um, we have Cal as a pipeline, too. <clears throat> I just came from Texas, so we're taking Texas. Fuck it. All right. Now I have to do my board. So give me a second here. This is going to take a while. This is going to be boring for you guys. But I have to type this in. Let me move the camera a bit so I can move my keyboard out. Yeah, I'm not going to redshirt that number two halfback because if I redshirt him, then he like kind of blocks Williamson, who's rank, who's number three. And we'll have a 94 speed, 90 speed as our one-two next year. 
and that will let us recruit um, at least one halfback, maybe even two. Um, the downside is we would only have two really good running backs. So we would have three this year. We could have three next year, but we'd have two seniors. But that would allow me to get one this year and then two next year. Yeah, let me think about that. I think I am going to redshirt him. those young wide receivers Jimmy we recruited an athlete that's six foot seven 227 could play wide receiver but he's gonna start at uh, free safety He's getting red shirted. Do I want to red shirt one of these two guys? I think I want to red shirt this guy. He's slow. It would split up those that sophomore class. So let's do that. <clears throat> he might even get cut next year. Have, we have some stuff to work with on the offensive line, Jimmy. So we're we're not in bad shape, but I got to go get some. I got to get like five offensive linemen this season. Not entirely sure. Which guys I'm going to redshirt yet? I'm definitely redshirting that 60 freshman, but he's a placeholder. We'll come back to this, uh, these, these guys in a minute. Good there. He's getting red shirted. Good there. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking. I'm just looking at depth right now. So this guy right here could be a backup all the way across the line. All right, he'll be starter next year, but. The following year, but he'll. He, I'm looking at him as the backup all the way across the board. So I'm going to red shirt everybody I can because we can always rip a red shirt off, right? So we're going to red shirt the shit out of this offensive line. And I'm still going to recruit five.
This stuff right here that we're going through, it might seem boring as hell. But this is what sets you up to uh, put your recruiting board together for every single year going forward. Look at those D tackles, Jimmy. Um, and we cut a 77 because he wasn't going to play. But three juniors. That's I gotta I gotta go get two this year and two next year. Oops. I'm not going to redshirt this guy. I'm going to let him play. And that'll split up our classes. But I am going to recruit two outsides. So we're going to recruit two outsides and one middle. That's down before I forgot. Good lord. that hey, look we move this line okay. nine seven look at that secondary Jimmy you talked about speed on the wide receivers we're gonna redshirt one of those sophomores. And probably the freshman as well. Definitely redshirt Harrison. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we redshirt Hobbs. Next year, we'll have senior, junior, freshman, junior, junior, sophomore, sophomore. I got enough speed I can redshirt him. Yeah, I can. I could redshirt him for sure. Because these guys are going to be juniors next year. That would give us... And in, then that would allow me to go add a couple more. And he would be the number one within two years. And it still leaves us one, two, three, four, five guys. Right? And we can always pull, pull one of these guys to be the last one. Yeah. I know. It's not a bad thing playing him. That's my point. I, I could play him. But he's third on the depth chart, so he'd be hitting all the all the slot receivers, right? So if I, but the thing is, if I don't, if I if I redshirt this guy here, then I'll have four sophomores. I'll have a senior, two juniors, and four sophomores, and I don't want four. I don't want, I don't want any any class with four guys. But imagine this dude if with a redshirt year, he'll come in as like an eighty-five. He'll be a 99 overall if we go ahead and redshirt him. Hmm. Meet Wad. Hey, welcome in. Nice name. I'm gonna redshirt him. We're gonna we're gonna redshirt him. And we'll redshirt this other sophomore. All right, here, this is the guy that was the athlete that could play wide receiver. 
He's definitely starting over the junior. The thing is, I don't want to redshirt him because then we'll end up with two sophomores. And that's never good. Never good to have. So I could redshirt him. God, that speed and free safety is terrible. His awareness sucks, so we'll redshirt him. I wasn't going to, but we got to get his awareness up before he hits the field. Worst case is it puts one of the cornerbacks at free safety in the depth chart. And we're definitely redshirting Fry get those two guys off then we don't have to we don't have to recruit a uh, free safety for two years this is freshman junior oops no he's a junior Yep, Iowa is my new team, and we're going to stay here for a while. We're not moving around anymore. We've been moving around waiting for this job to open up, and I sacrificed a uh, really goaded-out recruiting class to go ahead and sign here this year. So uh, that's what we're doing. All right, give me a chance to put my uh, colors on my depth chart, and I'll show you what we got. Plus, it helps us count all of the seniors we have on the team. We only have two juniors at wide receiver, guys. We have no seniors, two juniors. So this is going to be offensive line heavy. Quarterback, offensive line, linebacker heavy. Need at least two D tackles. Yeah. So we're going to get this defense set up. And this offensive line set up, and that's going to let us go after some studs on offense next year. We will recruit a quarterback um, pretty much every year until so we get one that we like. We have no seniors at corner either. Wow. All right, let me color the uh, red shirts. Yeah, and I can see out of the corner of my eye you guys are talking in chat. I'll be with you in one minute. This is tedious. It's tedious for you to sit here and wait, and it's tedious for me to do it. But this is how we stay organized. So Normally I would do this off-stream. We would do this off-season to start another, uh, another stream, but we've, hey! we've flipped it. And, uh, is this heaven? No. Um, we started doing the, uh, setting up the recruiting board at the end of end of the season after the bowl games, so that when we start the uh, next season, we've got our recruiting board set up and we're good to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our initial recruiting board here in a minute, and we're eventually going to advance, and we're going to get all the way to week two, and we have our very first game to play, and that's when we're going to end the stream. So we're going to do our entire first board. We're going to do all the scouting, see if we get any insta commits, because I have level three insta commit. And then we'll get it into week two. We'll revise our board one more time and call it a day. And Jimmy, I am, I am uh, seriously planning. I'm like 90% sure I'm going to stream tomorrow night. Since there are no college football games at all outside of Army Navy earlier in the day, my wife's going to uh, a party with my uh, daughter-in-law and my mom. So I'm on, I guess I'm on my own for dinner. So I might uh, start my stream up at dinner time, and uh, we'll play uh, three or four games. We'll make it a Saturday night stream. Yeah, please bring me Dinos. <laughs> all right. So this is my uh, this is my depth chart page for those of you that are new in here. This is how we keep our shit straight. So, yellow, those are graduating seniors. Red, guys with red being red shirted right now. The R in the parentheses means they've already had a red shirt year. The blank means they still have a red shirt year available. All right. So when I go through and put my list together, 
we got to replace all the seniors, right? But I'm also looking to replace the juniors because next year the junior is going to be a senior. And we, so if we get this guy's replacement down here, new guy, then he's going to redshirt next year so that when he graduates, he's ready to go. He'll be a redshirt freshman ready to start, okay? So we're going to get one quarterback. We'll do one quarterback next year. We'll do one quarterback the following year, and then we'll have a year off. So we're going to recruit three quarterbacks, all right? If we can get one that can start next year, that's even better. Running back. I'm keeping these two guys so that we can kind of split this up because we have two seniors right here. So next year we'll have two seniors, but this year that allows me to recruit. Um, I can re recruit one guy. I could recruit two to get rid of the 66, but he has 88 speed, so he's not terrible. We can just leave him on the team as depth, and that's it. You know, maybe he has good return. Who knows? Fullback. Depending on what we need, how many guys we're going to get, because there's a very good chance I'm going to get 25 guys this first year to try and change this team overnight. I might go ahead and put a fullback on there. If I can find somebody in the uh, in the 70s, um, then we'll just throw them in there and start them and just cut this guy next year. Um, I don't use fullbacks very much anyway, but occasionally I have some pass plays for them. Um, and we can always sub a, a running back in. Or I'm sorry, a tight end. Always sub a tight end. Um, wide receiver. We don't need any wide receivers, but I will target two to replace these two guys right here. Get rid of that junior. Get rid of that sophomore. Tight end. We need one because he's graduating. Next year we'll need another. And that'll give us four. And at some point we can get rid of this 64. Okay. Offensive line. I like... I prefer to carry three across the board. Hey, welcome in. I can't even say your name. How you doing, man? Welcome in. We're doing our... Uh, getting ready to do our initial recruiting board for Iowa. So if you like... Uh, like recruiting man this is where we're at um so we have to have a left tackle we have to have a left guard i'm going to replace this guy to get these guys off the same recruiting class so we need a center need a guard and we don't have to have a tackle to next year but i probably will so we're going to get two two tackles two guards in the center so we're going to we're going to get a starting offensive line That'll carry us forward. So we're going to go get an offensive line. So let me go back to my needs and put this in. Let's keep track of this as we go through. So quarterback. Halfback. We'll go with one for now. Fullback. Wide receiver. We're going to go with two. Tight end one. Tackle two. Guard two. Center. All right. That takes care of the offense. A and M, we uh, we uh, pounded Kentucky in the SEC championship, fifty-two to twenty. We gave up a late touchdown. It wasn't even that close. We beat Pitt in the uh, Chick Fil A Peach Bowl, forty-five thirty-five, and we got the number one recruiting class at Texas A and M. But we're at Iowa because Iowa fired James Franklin, and I promised Jimmy forever we would go there. We even took a poll because I really wanted to stay and play with those guys, especially that 98 speed running back um, and that goaded out uh, secondary. But um, we, we uh, voted and the chat said go to Iowa. And so uh, we went to Iowa. So we're going to rebuild this team. And they're actually not bad. They're just not natty ready yet. Give me two years. Okay. Give me two recruiting classes and we'll start winning every year. All right. So we need five offensive linemen. Uh, defensive end. We've got some depth here. We're good there. So I'm going to just say one. And next year we can get two because I got to get so many offensive linemen. We're just going to go one D end. We'll re-add this up when I'm done to see how many I actually need. Uh, defensive tackle. These guys are going to be seniors next year. So I have to get two have to get to have to over recruit so that I'm not shorthanded <sighs> Quit 
put that comma. Yeah, that's right. All right, outside linebacker. We need two outside linebackers and a middle. And we actually don't even need a middle until next year. So I put a middle on there. It might get taken off. The only reason I'm putting the middle on there is to, to replace him. But we actually don't need a middle. So let's take him off and add that as a fullback. Okay. We don't have to have him. Corners. We, we only need one to get rid of this guy. We just need one. The highest rated one we can find. All right. Free safety. Normally I would recruit his replacement, but we already have it. So we don't need a free safety. Okay. That means next year I could, rec I could redshirt him. Because he'll be a freshman. But then that would put them both at sophomore. We'll, we'll deal with that later. Because I can always replace him. Um, I don't need a strong safety. Because he's a junior. So then we'll have a junior, a senior, and a sophomore. The only reason why I would go get a strong safety is to get rid of the 67. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the list. Because that will give us a year to redshirt him while we have the others. Yeah, he is. I haven't even turned that on. And we need a kicker. So let's add. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right. 19 guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 seniors. So we're replacing nine underclassmen. All right. I can go. All right. You gotta write this down. Because we may adjust this. If I want 25 guys, we have 10 seniors. I'm just going to stick with one quarterback. Let's go two halfbacks. If there's two halfbacks, we'll take two. Right? If we don't see two halfbacks, we just go one. All right. So quarterback one, halfback one or two. Fullback one. Wide receiver. I already said two, and we'll stick with two. We're good. All right, tight end one. So this is where I could go three tackles. Replace these two guys and this sophomore. All right. So we'll go three tackles. We only we only really need one guard, but we're gonna go to. Oops, wrong one. I take it back. We need two. Yeah, let's, uh, what the hell? Let's go three. Center one. Defensive end. Yeah, we'll just stay with one. Defensive tackle. I have two um we'll go we'll go two yeah we'll just stay at two one side linebacker yeah two i am going to put middle linebacker back on the board but if we don't get it it's not the end of the world Oops, it needs to be caps. I'm so hungry. I did not have lunch. 
All right, middle linebacker one. We've got cornerback one, strong safety one, kicker one. So if we max it out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20. So 23. Twenty-three. All right. All right. Here's our speed on the team. We have a ninety-seven corner, ninety-five wide, ninety-four running back, ninety-three wide. These guys are getting red shirted. He's getting red shirted. <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of speed next year. The year after this, we're gonna have a lot of speed. All right. Hit the depth chart. All right, this is where I need to see. All right, he's much stronger. He's 70 and he's a 57. Got better break tackle. So we're going to stick with the 89 speed because he's not terrible. He's not slow. And then Williamson is the uh, the fast guy to come in and, and shake things up. Be nice to be able to run those wheel routes with him, right? All right. So fullback. These are our wide receivers. Yeah, we're not playing a tight end at wide receiver. So. Dunbar. Actually put Weddle instead of Dunbar. Alright, tight end is good. Alright, this is where this left tackle is going to come in because he's going to back up the entire offensive line. See that? He's backing everybody up. So there's our left end, there's our right end, D-tackle. See, I told you it would fill in the defensive ends on the depth chart. Outside linebacker, middle linebacker, right side, corners were good. Free safety, and see it filled in. Corners as the backup, same here. Kicker, doesn't matter who kicks and punts because they both have great leg. See? Kick return. <clears throat> Let's find the speed. Right. Williamson and Smith have the most speed out of this list. He's 76. What is his speed? He's 92. All right. Where's Smith at? He probably doesn't have a good return, does he? It's fine. All right. All right. He's a freshman. <laughs> put the tight end. Yeah, I won't put the tight end. We'll put the... Uh... Put Smith. All right. So Brown, Williamson, Weddle, Smith. Actually, we'll leave Williamson there. So I have one running the kicks and the other one running the punts. That's good. All right. We're good. Step chart set. Schedule's done. Um, here. Let me take a picture of this so I can do the, the graphic.
All right, so number one UCF is our old school from four years ago. So Revamp said to, uh, jokingly said to do it, and I was like, all right, we'll do that. Because think of it this way. If we win that game, that helps our ranking immensely, right? So if we lose the game, eh, it was a good loss. So... All right, let's save. And I will be right back. Give me one second, guys. Sorry, my wife asked me if I was still streaming earlier, and I said yes. And I went up to see what she wanted, and and she's uh, she's on a conference call for work. So, right. you guys like recruiting? Here you go. Let's get it going. Hey, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. I just put my uh, Discord link down there. If you're on Discord, you can go there and go look at uh, my last class that we just got at Texas A&M on the uh, Show Me Your Recruits page. The uh, Recruiting 101 page tells you everything that I do, my whole process and everything. So uh, um, let's look at our bonuses. Got a couple of A's. Got some B's. Not bad. Academic prestige is going to go up because we're going to have some true freshmen that are going to play. So that will go up. Um, oh, yeah. This will uh, improve as we stay there longer. Uh, this is going to go up. This is All this shit's going to go up. So we can recruit. We can recruit. We're fine. And it says as a need... We have no needs. This is what you want. No red. No red numbers anywhere. That's why I spend so much time on the, the uh, position changes page because I want to make sure I have everything balanced so that it doesn't tell me I have a need. This way I can recruit everything I want to recruit. Um, we may have needs because we have people graduating, but I don't want the... I don't want the I don't want the computer telling me I have to get a kicker. I have to get a punter. Yeah. All right. So. Well, let us go look. We go no deal breaker and we only do top 10. And this is to initially set our board. 92. That's kind of low. And we take nobody that's lower than 67. Nobody. Um, so let's go by positions first because I know I need a quarterback. So let's see if there's anything. Well, look. We have a 4-5-2-40. He's got a bench and a squat and a 300, which means he's strong. He's a 7-2 overall, and we're number two on his list already. All right? And we're not that far off. The only thing is his throw power and accuracy are not very good. So I bet you those are low 80s. I bet he's like 81 or something like that. So I'll put him on the board and, and uh, scout him, but I don't think he's who we're going to end up with. He might even drop to like a 69. Right? You want Bs on throw power, B on throw accuracy. But I'll, I'll throw him on the board just to see. The other two I'm ignoring. All right. Skill of positions like this, we always sort by speed. So Andrew Hall, 
A speed, A, uh, B Excel, B agility. It's only a C elusive. Good, good bonuses. We're down the board on him. I'm not really sold on him. We're sixth on his list, so eh. A lot of bees there. I will throw him on the board. And this guy's going to go up. 446 with 300s on bench and squat. And big lettered, you know, those big schools up there. This guy's going to go up. He's probably going to be a 67, 68. Where are we on the list? Fourth. Yeah, throw him on there. Hawaii. Yeah, we're not getting him. All right, we're going to have to look uh, low lock, and we're going to have to look in athletes for more. Fullback, 63, 76. This is what I'm looking for right here. This guy walks in. He's immediately better than what we've got. Yep. Wide receiver. He's got us number one. Good bonus, yep. 65, 72, he's a 4.5. So we're going to have to find more either low lock or guys that are uh, athletes. Uh, tight end, you sort tight end by squat and look at their 40 time needs to be here. And the 4.6s and 4.7s, not the 4.8s. This guy's good because he's strong and he's fast. We're third on his list, I'm taking him on the list. This guy is receiving, so he's not as strong. He's not very strong. I'll throw him on the board, though. He's definitely a receiving, receiving tight end. All right. This guy's a gem, or close to it. He's a Juco sophomore. We don't want them. Yeah, we don't take anybody below 600 squat. You want 400 bench, 600 squat. Yeah, we're going to have to go low lock on these guys. All right, defensive end. Hmm. Nothing I can work with. Defensive tackle, yes. No, no, no. Look at that. A 44640 outside linebacker with a 420 bench. There you go, Jimmy. 420 bench. 620 squat. Yeah, that's a starting that's a starting it says balance, but the dude can play coverage and he's strong. Jesus. This guy moves to number one on our list of people we want to get because we have other guys in the Big Ten competing. How far behind are we? Yeah, we'll have to throw some points on him. He's not very strong at all. Man. I'll have to put him on there. He's not as strong with the squad, but he's a coverage guy, so that's okay. And this guy's a Juco sophomore. I'm going to throw him on there just in case, and that's it. Corners. Sort of like 40 time. Yes. You don't need a free... You need a strong. And we're number one on his list. He runs a 458 with 340 squat. Yeah, thank you very much. Do you need a kicker? He's a power kicker, but he's terrible. He's a Juco. This guy looks like a linebacker. 4'6 with 420 and 620. He's got B pursuit, B tackle, B hit power. Not a quarterback. All right, that's a linebacker. We'll throw him on the board. We're second. All right. So we have 15 guys, and all we did was go with guys that had us in their top 10. So now we're going to have 20 more guys that were not on their list. All right, so there's 2,400 players in this class. 
quarterback. All right, all I'm doing here now is I'm looking at throw power. It has to be a B. And we have decent, we have decent bonuses. And by decent, I mean in the green. But we're gonna keep looking down the list and we're gonna go look at athlete too. Ooh. Really good bonus on him. 6'4", 235. Be acceleration. Be elusive. We're going to throw my man Otis on the board. Well, all right. We're good to go there. Halfback. It's Oregon. It's so far away. Sixth. Yeah. Got a nice spark though. Yeah, we'll throw him on there for the hell of it, but I'm not, that's not not what I'm looking for. This guy's from Texas though. This would help us get that as a pipeline if we can get some of these guys. Right, we'll come back to halfback. Fullback, we already got the guy we're going after. Wide receiver. Dude's from Idaho. That's not bad. 6-5. Runs a 4-3. Need this guy. Got a better bonus on him. Tell you what, I'm going to throw both these five stars on here and we'll come back later. Tight end. We already have one guy on there. We're number two <clears throat> on his list, so we're already high up there. Um, uh, four, five, two. Good lord. Jimmy, a four, five, two. Oh, we got a good. All right, we'll throw him on the board. Wow. He's so slow. Imagine that, a 4-5-2 tight end. All right. Pop me cherry. Hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. 4 6 four, 40. Yep. No, we didn't have a, we didn't have one. Let me see. All right, stop. All right, defensive end. We just need one. <clears throat> Dude's from Iowa, and we don't. We're not on his list. How screwed up is that? We're not on his list. We're gonna throw you on the board, dude. Um, we I've done that before. I turned it off because uh, we were doing a lot of simming and stuff. Um. Not opposed to it, but um, I'm not turning it on right now, to be honest. All right, we got to get this guy because we need people from Texas. Um, 2D tackles. Yes. I'm 
running out of spots. Running out of spots. All right, I'm just looking for the highest um, um, bonus guys like this guy. All right, we're full up. So let me go look at my thing again. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is we're going to go in here by position and see where I have too many guys, and we'll start trimming this board. Um, what was Henry? This guy was a linebacker. I like to sort them by position manually so that I can keep track of the positions without having to go to the position page. And then as we progress through the season, you'll see me move guys um, up and down the list and then eventually sort them by their overalls here. I don't like using the menu to sort. I'll just move them up and down manually. Um, I think we have probably too many halfbacks on this board, especially considering there's a lot of them that will slip through as uh, low lock guys. And I probably have too many wide receivers, but we'll see. Yeah, I has, used to have them on all the time. There was uh, a bunch of guys in the last two seasons that got drafted off of Central Florida that were uh, um, people who follow and sub, and uh, I put them on the team. The problem is I get too many of them, and then you guys spend your points, and then you end up on the bench, and you never see the field. So um, we will see. I'll have to think about it. Plus, it adds time to the stream because I have to go in and add you guys to the to the roster and personalize all your stuff. So, honestly, it's been kind of nice to not have to deal with that. A lot of these offensive linemen, these high offensive linemen that I'm adding, we're not going to get. They're, they're going to put a lot of points on them, more than we can put on in the first week or so, and so we're going to fall behind. But I want to put them on there anyway because sometimes you find a guy that no one is interested in, and then you get an entire one to two weeks head jump on everybody else, and uh, you can get those guys to commit early, like week five, week six, and it saves you so many points. It's not even funny. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't do coaches at all just because they, they leave. Um, they take off and leave every year. You tackle. All right, where are we at? So we have a strong safety. We have a corner. We don't have a kicker. We only need one middle linebacker. We can put this guy to outside. Oops, wrong one. So D tackle, we just need D tackle two on one, guards two, tackles three. Probably have too many tackles, too many tight ends for sure. We only need one tight end. Yeah, guys, we uh, <clears throat> that's Jimmy just posted a link to our online league that I'm in right now. <clears throat> And we have a game tonight between the two undefeated teams, Mr. September's uh, SMU Mustangs against Revamp TV's uh, Texas Longhorns. The winner of that is probably going to the national championship within the dynasty. So uh, that will be 7 o'clock Central Time, and I'm calling that game on play-by-play, -play, so I cannot wait. I tell you what, I need a kicker, but I always wait for kickers until we get to week one. So I think we're good to go, and we're just going to scout and see where we are. I think we're in good shape. Because um, we're going to have to rebuild this board after week one when we get into week two. Yeah. So. All right, let's get the scouting done. Otis, my man. 86. His accuracy sucks, but I can work with that. 89 speed. 89 elusive, and this is not an athlete. This is just a straight-up quarterback. I haven't even looked at athletes yet for, for quarterbacks. 
fact, I'm going to go look for one right now because I'm not sold. This dude has C throw power, C accuracy, so let me go find one. If you want to know how to recruit quarterbacks for a read option, this is how you do it. Sort by 40 time. Start with the, the fastest speed, right? Jeff Jean. You come under here and look under skills. <coughs> Scroll to the bottom and you look at throw power. That's all I look at. You're already, you're already starting with the fastest guys. And then you want a B throw power. So while you're on this page, if you use your right stick and hit down, it'll move you down the list from the fa you know, fastest guys to the slowest guys. So just tap down and all you're looking for is B throw power. And if you want to look for um, defensive backs, you do the same thing, but you look at man and zone. Like this guy, Lamar McCarty, could play corner. His press sucks, so he'd probably be better safety. But right now I'm just looking at throw power, and that's all I'm looking at. I don't care what anything else says. I want to be. Because I'm I'm going with the fastest to the slowest. And my 40 times, I will look at four fives and four sixes. Desmond Maxwell, 6'2, 199. There he is. He's B elusive as well. He also plays wide receiver and DB. And he's got B acceleration, B agility. This guy's perfect. And I have good, really good bonuses. See, everything's green. Preferably A's, but you'll take the B pluses. And he doesn't have um, 10 teams. He's only got, what, seven? There's no, no guarantee that we're going to get this guy, but I'll put him on the board. So that once we advance to week one, we are on the board. We'll be at the bottom of the list. And then once we advance beyond week one, we'll see how many points these guys are putting on him and know whether we can go after him or just cut him. So this is a guy. Yeah, I got to cut it. All right. Maxwell is the number 22 athlete. So I just want to know where he was. So we'll get rid of this other quarterback. Chad Johnson. Yeah, so now we're going to go find that athlete again. He's got to be on Spark. He's got to be number 22. There he is. All right. That's how you find ridiculous quarterbacks. I had I had a guy at Texas Tech, Pat Mahomes III, won Three Heismans in four years. The year he didn't win it, he was injured and missed a couple of games, and our running back won it. His senior year, he threw for 5,300 yards and 42 touchdowns, and he ran for 1,500 yards and had like another 21 touchdowns. He, he broke the uh, NCAA career passing yards mark. And I had a game against Kansas State where I threw for over 700 yards and eight touchdowns, seven touchdowns. I think it was eight. Eight touchdowns. Goddamn ridiculous. All right. Scout. 91 speed quarterback with 86 throw power. He can play wide receiver. He can play corner. With playbook, I have a, uh, a custom spread and a custom air raid that I use. Now, if you didn't need him at quarterback, this guy is excellent at wide receiver and at defensive back. And he's great at defensive back because he has the speed, but and he's got the man coverage and the zone coverage, but he also has 77 catch and 81 spec catch, which helps with interceptions. Should Yeah, Night Dogger, you should definitely. That's what this, this board right here is. You don't have to keep a spreadsheet. I, uh, for the longest time... Before I started streaming, I would write it out on a piece of graph paper. Um, and that's when I had my uh, PlayStation 
in my upstairs living room and I would just, I didn't have it by a computer or anything. So I would just write it down. But do the depth chart so you know where you have your strengths and weaknesses. And that's why I color coded on here so I know right away how many seniors I need to replace. So that's your minimum recruiting class size is the number of seniors. But once I like, so I have 10 seniors, but I know I want more than 10 guys. Well, now I'm going to look at the juniors and I'm going to start recruiting their replacements so that next year when the junior is a senior, I can redshirt his replacement and he's ready to go when the guy graduates. All right. And then I also wrote that down on, an, on a post-it note so I can keep it right here on my laptop. So as we're doing the streams, I can go down the thing and mark off the, the positions we've already filled or whatever. I know quickly how many I have. You know, if I need three guards, okay, I've got two of them, so I still need one. Um, Post-it notes are wonderful for that. Um, but you, uh, you gotta keep track of what you need to uh, replace. And you only do that with um, Knowing your depth chart and knowing what you need. So, hold on a sec. That was itching. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. I don't play Madden anymore because they broke the game. If they want to make the game better, they need to get rid of um, Frostbite. Get rid of the uh, programmed in animations and make it an actual game like NCAA. If they would take NCAA and just update the graphics and update the engine a little bit so it works with, with the new gen, that would be great. Um, update the AI for sure on recruiting and in the game, but um, I put a thousand hours into Madden 20. I didn't buy 21 and I didn't buy 22. Um, I just refuse and they've wrecked the uh, scouting for uh, the draft. I know it was really basic before, but now you don't even know key ratings on the players. You have no idea what you're drafting. It's garbage. I Honestly, my opinion is they're trying to wreck franchise so you guys will stop buying the game and they won't have to program that part of the game and they can just go straight mutt. If they were smart, they would make mutt free to play because they're going to get people to buy packs, right? And then they would make a separate franchise game for us and work on that and make that like every two, every two, like every other year or every third year, they come out with some improvements and they just make us buy a roster update every year. They would make more money that way. They would make way more money. They could satisfy us because we don't need a new game every single year. We just need updated rosters, right? And we need the game to fucking work. So the best thing that could happen for us is if they outlawed the uh, ultimate teams, they make that quote unquote gambling, then we would, we would win. But EA doesn't give one shit about us. Yeah, when they come out and say anything at all, you can guarantee every word out of their mouth, including and and the is a lie because they've lied to us for two straight years. This guy's a cut. I don't care these 94 speed. I'm not keep, keeping the 65 halfback. I'll go add a kicker now. Ooh, there we go. Gem. Wow, he sucked. But he's still 68. It's better than what we've got. 93 speed. 87 route running. I'll take that. Yeah, they've ruined the draft because they fixed that last year. It's not just because I don't play it anymore doesn't mean I don't follow it. I watch Mr. Hurricane. I watch C4. I watch all those guys on YouTube. So I watch them. Um, and they fixed it where the teams would draft smartly. I mean, before you knew. You knew if you wanted a quarterback, you could wait till the third round. And if you wanted a running back, you had to take them in the second round, right? Um. So you would ignore those positions in the first round and you could just load up on, on defense and offensive line. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know about that. 
I'm not buying that game if it's only on next gen. Now, if they get it for PS4, I'll buy it. But if it's only on the PS5, I won't buy it. I think the game's going to suck. Everybody's going to be upset. I think they're just going to reskin Madden. And we're going to be so excited until the first month in when shit's broke. And it doesn't work. And they take another two months for an update. Because remember, when the when the NCAA was, was uh, going year to year with uh, Madden, NCAA had the better game. People would buy, buy Madden because it was NFL, but the better game was NCAA. So if you go back to NFL or Madden 25, um, play state is 66. That's terrible. You're gone. Um, if you go back to uh, Madden 25, the uh, NCAA game was better. All right. We need to add two people. So I'm going to go add a kicker. Oops, wrong one. No deal breaker, boom. All right, now I'm gonna tell you something I learned, and I learned this by trial and error. If you want a good kicker, you come in here. You don't have to have a kicker, you can sign a punter. It doesn't matter, they're interchangeable positions, okay? You sort kicker or punter by squat. And look at the top of the page underneath his name. It says Melvin Johnson, and his archetype is power. You want power kickers with squad of 300 or higher. And I guarantee you they will go up. They may only go up one, two, or three points, but they won't go down. All right? The balanced and the accurate kickers, that's not a guarantee. But basically, everyone from Jay Moore up is either going to go up or they're going to stay the same as long as they're a power kicker, All right? Let me see, do we have, yeah, he's okay. No accurate, we only want, only want power. This guy's not great. We got a good bonus on him, but. Don't want you co-kickers and punters. At all. 69. All right. Let me go look at punters. Because, they, like I said, they're interchangeable. It doesn't matter. And you want power. All right. I'm going to throw two of these guys on the board. Okay. Um, I don't know what the engine was on Madden 25. Um, but this game was a better game. I uh, I would buy the NCAA game every year and wouldn't even bother with Madden. All right. Good, good, good. All right. So we're going to advance. We're almost at five hours. So we got to wrap this up pretty soon. I didn't think it was going to take this long, but recruiting has taken an hour and a half already, and we're still not done. We got to get through week one. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you guys want to talk Madden and all that stuff and all the game stuff, um, come back once we're into the regular season, and I'm not setting up the recruiting board, and I'll have more time to pay attention to everything you're saying. Because when I'm in recruiting, this is basically what I'm known for, and so I spend all my focus on setting up these these teams um, let me see if I can get this for you guys I'll go to discord and grab these
Let's see if this works. Give me one second. That. Yeah. Give me one second. All right, check this out. <clears throat> this was my last class at Texas A&M. The only one we hadn't signed was this 70 overall, uh, I'm sorry, 80 overall tackle. And we were going to put 15,000 points on him and get him. This 82 overall athlete was a 98 speed running back with agility, juke, spin, elusive, all in the 90s. He could also had all of his DB coverage in the 80s, so he could play corner too. Um, this Tariq Bryant had 98 speed with their, all of his cover in the 80s. This outside linebacker had 88 speed with 96 Excel. This tight end, I think, had 77 speed. This Tyler Kendrick had like 80 something. High 80s route running. He had ridiculous route running. Um, we're just going down the list. Fred Grant had 95, 95 speed corner. These tackles. This William Smith dude. I'll show you this William Smith guy. Give me one second. I actually have his his straight up his page. You can you can see what he was. This is the first guy I've ever seen who. Uh, could legit start at four positions. This is the William Smith guy. This is why I told you sort by sort by 40 time and look for B throw power. 89 speed, 87 throw power, but he had 87 juke, 92 elusive, 87 spin, 78 break tackle, 76 route, 76 catching, 75 spec catch, 84 man, 85 zone, 83 press. Guy could play quarter, corner, wide receiver, running back. We got him. We got him right here. He was going to be my Swiss Army knife. He was going to be a backup quarterback, but I was going to put him on the depth chart at wide receiver and DB. In fact, he was going to be our fifth DB as a freshman. Um, that Nick Sanders was going to get red shirt. I think he had 95 speed. Um, this co this uh, 78 Carlos Bray, he was 94 speed. He was getting red shirted. These two, free safety, strong safety, both had 88 speed. Uh, this quarterback was okay. He was going to be red-shirted. And then um, Chavis was going to get cut. Um, and this Daniel Wright, this dude had 84 speed. He was a tight end and linebacker hybrid dude. I was going to play him at linebacker. But he legit could play linebacker or tight end. It was crazy. And all of his like tight end catching skills were in the high 70s and low 80s. So that's the recruiting class I didn't get to play with because I promised we would come here. So that's, that, is, uh, that is what we're working for here. A one-star power punter. I look at their overalls. I want guys in the high 70s, low 80s. Um, and make sure if they're a power punter, their, their um, squad is 300 or higher. And honestly, you could not even put a punter or a kicker on the board until you get into week one like sim past week one get to the start of week two and see which kickers and punters um um have no scholarship offers those are the what we call low lock guys with no offers just then you can throw them on the board scout them recruit them and they're pretty much yours so that's good for oregon that is really good for oregon all right so we're in week one, so let's go finish scouting. And then we're going to offer all the guys that we have number one because I am maxed out at InstaCommit. So uh, we only offer, once we get InstaCommit, we only offer guys we're number one on. All right. There's an 80 overall guard. Some of these guys we are not gonna get. We're gonna we're gonna get crushed early. Um, but 
We will uh, see what we can do right now, and then we will look for more guys after this week. They're overall in 12. Um, no, it should still show you their overall, but I can guarantee you, because I, I, <laughs> I have a guy here. Have you heard that you have to sort by uh, squat on the offensive lineman, right? I'll show you what I did in uh, 13. This is NCAA 13. Was he? Sort by squat, right? There you go, this guy. That him? Yes, look. Right here in the middle, projected overall rating 81. He was a 68, he went up 13 points. So his spark, it'll show you their overall, you know, right there by his face. And it says his spark is a 57. That's not very high for an offensive lineman, but you don't have to worry about that. Offensive lineman, you want 600 squat, 400 bench. That's all you're looking for. If they have a low 40 time, that's really good, but I sorted this guy by squat, and then that's what happened. He turned out to win 81. <laughs> An 81. 80, the spark thing is just basically tell you how their their uh, agility, elusiveness, and all that good stuff is. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean they're... I've seen guys that have decent sparks that actually go down. So... get through the rest of this scouting so I can renumber, reorder these guys and take a look. Here's a 91 kick power punter. An 84 kick power kicker. I would take him because I could redshirt him and he would probably be in the high 80s as a freshman. But this guy is number one on our board and we'll move him to kicker. This guy will be a 99 kick power by the time he's a junior. Yeah, I haven't played 12 in forever, so I don't even remember what the interface looks like, to be honest with you. So I, I'm not sure. Let's make sure we got these guys in numerical order. Oops, he skipped too far. 77, you come down here. All right, guys, give me a second here. We got to get this shit set up. And then we're going to go through and offer everybody that we're on their board at number one. All right. We won't have a ton, but we will sh we should have some. And if we don't, we will by the time we hit week two. All right. We're going to – we need two wide receivers. I don't expect to get either one of these two guys. We might get one. So I'm going to already just go ahead and offer this guy because basically he's going to replace a 66 sophomore. All right. And we didn't get the insta commit, and that's okay. We're gonna have to do some serious work on these offensive linemen because we're we're 500 points behind on a lot of them. So this is gonna be a lot of work, <clears throat> but we might find some low lock guys that no one is putting points on that we can go throw in here and and get them. All right corner we needed one we got him yeah he's going to replace the 67 freshman so he'll red shirt and he'll be about a 75 76 as a, a red shirt freshman so i do with my pen i don't need to look at any more corners we can just scratch corner off and we can focus somewhere else because we've got really good corners. I just wanted to upgrade that one guy, right? So we're good to go. And actually, I think we have a senior at corner, right? No, we don't. So yeah, so he just basically replaced that redshirt freshman. So we're good. And we got the strong safety. Boom. All right, we got two DBs out of the way. We don't have to think about it anymore, All right. 
and that's it. But two, two is better than none, right? And we took care of two whole positions, right? So now what I'm going to do, I haven't cut anybody off the board yet. We're going to go in here and look at the, look at this way. I live and die on this board right here because this board tells you so much more. It tells you what your bonus is in the second column compared to everybody else above you. And then it tells you how much you're behind and the change in your, how much you're ahead or behind, right? None means scholarship offer. I'm sorry, visits. And then the last column is their their uh, scholarship offers. So right now, none of these people are going to have offers except for the ones we put on there. Once we advance the week, we'll see their offers, right? So if I want Otis Jones, I'm pretty much going to have to dump 500 points on him because I'm trailing almost, uh, yeah, I am trailing everybody. But that doesn't mean I want Otis Jones. All right, my bonus is not good on these guys. So if I want Desmond Maxwell, I've got to put 500 points minimum on there. Not everybody has 700 points to put on their players, but they should all have 500 points, right? So it's either five, six, or seven. So if I even want to stay in contention, I got to put five. We'll come back to Desmond because he might get maxed. I might put 700 and still not make any ground because freaking Michigan put 700, okay? We don't know what they're going to put on there. So we'll wait and see. But if we don't get Desmond, it's not the end of the world. We'll go find somebody else. Maybe nobody, maybe nobody even puts points on Otis, and we can just walk in and snack, snatch him in like week five. Yeah. All right. This guy, we're at the bottom of the list. We don't have a great. I'm not really worried about these running backs because there's going to be a lot of low lock running backs that we can go get. So I'm going to skip these two positions for now. Usually, I like to start by giving everybody 200 points. And if you've already offered them, you're going to get the bonus for offering. So 200 is plenty to start with. Um, this is a huge upgrade at fullback, and this is a hard position to get. So we're going to start Vernon Young with 300 points. He's not a need. He's a want, because I already have a freshman fullback. But I would really love to upgrade this guy. Because what we could do is we have a senior that's going to graduate. We already have the other freshman, right? So we could let that freshman play for a year while this guy redshirts. And then we cut the other fullback and let this guy play four years as a starter, and he'll be in the 70s for all four years. Um, we need two wide receivers. We already offered Quincy, so Quincy's only going to get 200 points. This should be enough to keep everybody off of him. And even though he's a 69 overall, he's got 90 speed. His problem is he's not good at spec catch. He's not elusive, but most wide receivers in this game aren't elusive. You usually don't do too much with them after the catch. He might even be just a possession receiver. Let's look. No, he's a speed receiver. He's just a straight line runner. That's okay. He's at the bottom. He can redshirt, sit on the bench for a couple years, and start as a junior or senior. All right. Rob Roberts, we're at the bottom of the list. I don't think we're going to get you. Ramon, Sean... There's probably other wide receivers out there that'll be low lock, so I'm not going to kill myself. So just for the sake of seeing what happens, we'll throw 100 on these two, and we're going to leave this Roberts alone. And we have three tight ends here. I'm going to tell you right now, Dante Hearn, we're not getting. I'll leave him on the board in case nobody offers, but he's probably going to get all scholarships and 500 points. Yeah, we've had a few gems. Give me a second to go through. Let me let me put the points on these guys, and I'll go through and show you the gems. Um, Bobby Huffman, which is funny. I went to high school with a guy named Bobby Hoffman with an O. All right, we can compete for this guy. Um, so I'm going to start with 200, and we'll come back to all these guys when we get to the end of the list and see where we can add our extra points because we're going to throw 200 on Cobbs as well. Gilman, yay, USN, welcome in, man. Yeah, this is my element, right? I'm right, pretty sure we're not getting Corey Williams or Gary Sparks, but we can compete for Tony Wallace, so we're going to give him 300 points right now, and we may come back and add more. See, I like to start out with two to 300 points and just work my way down the list, and when I get to the bottom, I should have leftover points, and then I can go back and see which guys I really want to go hard after. 
Hey, everything I've done and learned in recruiting, I watched Param Crow, I watched Flimlow Raps, I read the boards at um, Operation Sports, and I am on Reddit. And what happens is I took everything that they do and made my own process to incorporate everything and then stuff that I learned on my own. And then we do it all together here. While we're on here and we're in the subject, we'll just make this a really long video. So here. This is my process. First, you got to find your needs. So if you're at a low ranked school, you're a one or two star school, you're just starting out. Hey, welcome. Thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate that. JUCOs are instant starters on those one and two star schools. So don't shy away from a JUCO. All right. They will gain, they will give you a better player to play for two years while you go get better recruits behind them. Okay. So never shy away from a JUCO on the lower tier schools. Right. But you have to find your needs. We already said you got to know how many seniors are graduating and how many juniors you have coming up next. And that helps you fill out your board on your needs and your wants. Okay. As I said, number of seniors, that's your minimum class size. Your wants are going to be the guys to replace the juniors, the guys that are going to upgrade um, other positions, like I just upgraded that um, corner, upgrade wide receiver. You're going to target your needs first. Remember, offensive line, tight end, fullback, linebacker, they have the most points put on them um, at the beginning than any other position you'll be able to find a quarterback a running back a wide receiver even quarter cornerbacks um even some linebackers defensive line you'll be able to find those guys but if you want to tight end a middle linebacker a fullback or an o-line you have got to get them first and you've got to put points on them or they're going to be gone and you're going to be settling for guys in the mid 60s and you don't want anybody below 67 right that means quarterbacks, halfback, wide receiver, athlete. You can get to those guys in low lock, and I'll show you how to do that when we get to the start of week two. This is where you steal high overall players, like those ones I just showed you on the other class. You'll steal those guys in week two. And I've already started to try to steal some here in the preseason of week one because we added a bunch of guys that we weren't even on their board. And once we advance to week one, we're on their board, all right? Scout everybody in the off. Scout all your points in the off season. Go to week one. Finish scouting everybody. If you see somebody like I did that was like a sixty-five halfback or a sixty-six lineman that you don't want, cut them immediately. Go find somebody else. Scout them. Okay. That's where. That's what I'm talking about. Add, remove, scout. You're going to offer a scholarship to everybody on your board if you don't have insta commit. And I'm talking level one insta commit. Okay. Um, this, this, I made this chart, this board, this right here, I put this together. This is mine. This is my process. Um, so take a screen cap or something. Um, but if you don't have Insta commit and I'm talking level one Insta commit, you offer every single person on your board, you will get a bonus for the offer. And that way you can put 200 points on every single person on the board and offer them and you will stay in races that you normally wouldn't. And you're going to fall behind by thousands of points on some of them. And that's going to happen. That's going to happen even if you are a six-star school and you have a 80 overall player and your bonus is 300 and something. Sometimes you're going to fall behind them anyway. You, there's nothing you can do about it. All right. But offer a scholarship to every single player on your board if you don't have insta commit. And offer 200 points across the board. I'm different in Param Crow in that way. Um, Param Crow will put 700 points on as many players as he can. He'll pick the top guys and he'll dump 700 on them. Um, and that's good, but you'll find out that your class is going to get decimated. Your depth on your board is going to get decimated because players are going to get snatched that wouldn't get snatched. You're going to fall seven, 800 points behind that you would only fall maybe 300 points behind. So that's just how I do it. Everybody does it differently, but this is why I do it. And this is why it works. All right. Once you get Insta commit, do not offer unless you're number one with one exception. If you are not first on their board, 
and you have a visit, you have to offer before you do the visit game or you're going to get a negative outcome. I had three offensive linemen that I, I met all of the goals. I killed the other team. I had a great week, right? Won the game. I had a negative 1,000 point visit for all three of those guys because I didn't offer them before they visited. So make sure at the very latest you offer them the week they visit before you play the game. Well, actually before you advance the week, okay? You can play the game and then do all your recruiting stuff. Um, but if you advance the week and you didn't offer them, you're going to get screwed. Okay. All right. Once we get through week one and I've offered everybody and I've put all the points on here and we've filled out our board and we've got, we've, we've allocated all of our points. You're going to have some guys with zeros and that's okay. Don't worry about it. Advance to week two. I never schedule game week one because that's, I just consider that part of recruiting. I want to have that week to really focus on my board, okay? Once you advance to week two, then you're going to see who's offered scholarships, how many points they're putting on them. Players are going to, you're going to fall down their board. Other guys, you're going to have zero points on them, like this Bill O'Brien, and you're actually going to gain because nobody ha nobody else has them on their board. Um, and you're going to gain. And now you just come in and you start offering them two, 300 points, and you're going to move to the top of the list, and then you can offer them, Okay. But like I said, if you don't have Insta commit, you're going to give him an offer regardless of whether you put points on there or not. And you're going to move up his board with that offer, especially on the guys that no one's interested in. And I can tell you right now, I have gotten the number one quarterback who had like 75 speed and 96 throw power because no one had him on their board. And I didn't put him on my board until like week four, but I got him before the off season. So you've got to pay attention to the guys. Um, you got to go back and re-recruit every week, the first three or four weeks, and look for guys that no one's even offering. That's what they call low lock. Um, and I will show you something once we advance to week two. I'll show you something else that pertains to the 73% locked. If you don't know what that is, you'll learn about that too. The, the highest your lock percent can get for any player without a scholarship offer by their number one school is 73. It gets all the way up to the top and it stops at 73 because they haven't been offered by the number one school. If you put a guy on your board, let's for example, Bill O'Brien, I put him on my board and I don't offer him because I'm not one and I don't put any points on him. And I see in week two that I'm, say I'm 1200 points behind. Everybody above me is also 11, 1200 points behind. The Texas Tech has not offered him a scholarship. Don't take him off your board. Leave him on your board until they offer a scholarship. Because if they never offer a scholarship, his lock is going to stop at 73. And if you have extra points at any point, you can throw them on this guy and, and you will not fall as far behind. But once it hits 73%, you won't fall any more points behind. You will stay where you're at. You throw max points on that guy, you'll steal him at the end of the year. And you're looking at those guys like a week eight. Okay. I look for these guys right now. I never cut them off my board until the number one team cuts them. I don't care how many points I'm trailing. If the number one team doesn't offer them a scholarship, they're not going to sign. So if you don't drop them off your board, you'll gain whatever your bonus is every week. You'll, you'll get those points. Um, so the, the behind will go down. Hold on. My earbud just died. Give me a second. Can't hear my own stream. All right. So we'll show you that. Well, there's bound to be somebody when we get to week two. But those guys, everybody says to look for those guys in week seven and eight. I've learned how to find those guys in week one or two. And I just move them to the bottom of my board and I leave them there. And then I'll check in on them periodically. I had a guy like that as a wide receiver that was a 78 overall for Texas A&M. And finally, they got an offer like in week 12. And so I just cut him. But it doesn't hurt anything to have him on your board. Uh, it's like a free player at the end of the year if you start throwing max points on him, especially if you can put 700 on him. All right, so let's... 
um, schedule visits as early as possible. This, a lot of people have different, um, they have a lot of different opinions on this because as you schedule them later in the season, you get more points, right? Uh, you also give the other schools time to close in on you. So I schedule them as early as possible, not as late as possible. I don't worry about the extra one or 200 points that I could possibly get from a visit because I want to get them in, get the visit, meet my stat goals, and then I will jump way ahead of everybody else. And then I, I keep putting points on them and I'll lock them out. I'll get them to commit by you know week six, week seven, week eight. I don't have to worry about a visit in week 10. I've already got them. And the good thing about getting them wrapped up as early as possible is now I can take all those points and put them on somebody else. So if you have all your people visit early and you get five or six guys to commit, now the most I've ever gotten to commit in one week is like eight or nine. Literally eight or nine commits in one week. Multiply that by five to 700 points. I have almost all my points back now to put on other players. So... Visit early, max them out, get them, max them out as far as um, get them to commit quick, right? And then you can focus on the other guys. Because you may have six guys that you're in a recruiting battle for, and you need to put 700 points on them every week so you don't lose ground. Well, you can't do that if you have to put 700 points on a guard that you should have wrapped up in week six, and it's week 10, all right? Um, so... Always schedule as early as possible, especially if nobody else is recruiting them. If you're the only team putting points on them, and I'll be able to show you that as soon as we advance to week two, I'll show you some guys that I'm the only one putting points on them. You want to schedule those guys as, as early as possible so that the other teams don't wake up because you don't want Ohio State or Alabama or Michigan or somebody like that to suddenly say, hey, um, well, we we're shorthanded now. We didn't get this guy, so we're going to go after him. And they have a better bonus. Maybe you have a 250-point bonus, but they have a 410-point bonus. Well, that's that's 160 points that you're going to lose every week to them just by them putting them on their board. So you want to you want to close them out as quick as possible, especially the higher overall guys. Don't let the CPU come back and screw you because I've had it happen before. All right, we've already talked about 73% locked. I aim for players that are 67 or higher. I learned that from Param Crow. Think of it this way. If they gain five points in training every single year, you're, they're going to at least get into the low 90s. And if you get a guy that's in the mid to high 70s or low 80s, those are 99s by the time they reach junior, senior year. And 81 or 82 is going to be a 99 by the time they're, they're a junior, for sure, at the start of the junior year. All right. And this goes to another thing. So if you're starting at a low school, you want as many of those 67s to 75s as possible and you, you build them up, and you win, and you help raise up your your uh, prestige level, your stars, and you'll start getting better players. But once you get to a six-star school, you should never recruit anybody in the 60s. You should never recruit a JUCO unless there's a position that you got screwed on. Because I've gotten screwed on fullback, tight end, middle linebacker before, and you just got to take a guy to fill a spot. Um, what's up, recruiting genius? How you doing? So... As your team gets better and you're a 99 overall team, you need to move that cutoff from 67 to like 75. You should never recruit anybody lower than a 75 once you're a 99 overall. Never. You're going to have huge bonuses on all your guys. Your your and that means all your letter grades are going to be A's, right? Um, you're going to have the best players. Um and I don't have a problem with JUCOs when you're first starting out, especially lower schools. But once you're a 99 overall school, you, nope. Your starters are going to be 99s. Your backups are going to be 95s. Your third stringers are going to be in the low 80s. So you don't want to waste time with a guy that has two years left. Right. So. But I would, uh, I would move my bottom bar up. From 67 to 75 once I get to a six-star school. Okay. Now, each one of these positions, this is what I look for. I run the spread. So I want a 4-7-40. 
that's the slowest I want. I want four fives, four sixes. Um, I've had guys in the four fours. And you want throw a power preferably 87 or higher. All right. That's why I recruit athletes. I sort by 40 time. And then I just look for B throw power. Halfbacks. Squat for a halfback is a break tackle rating. Okay. So I sort by 40 time. I want four five or faster. There's nothing wrong with a four five or even a four five two. They're going to be in the mid 80s. But those guys are going to be the power backs. So those are the ones you're going to run dives and middle runs with. And they're going to break tackles, okay? So don't shy away from those guys. I I crushed with uh, uh, Roundtree with M Mizzou, my Mizzou dynasty. He was only like 85, 86 power. But I ran for 1,500 yards, and I had like 30-something rushing touchdowns. What's up? Five nine. Hey, we're doing good, man. We're doing a, a master's class here on recruiting right now. Um, but he had like 30-something rushing touchdowns. But if you want fast guys, you want four or five or less, preferably less. But you also want squat in the 300s if you can get it because that's their break tackle rating. Wide receivers, I just sort by 40 time. I want the fastest guys, but I also want guys that can catch. All right? I don't want a 96-speed guy with 55 hands because he's going to drop every other pass you throw to him, and you're going to be like me and bouncing controllers off the wall. Um, I would rather have an 89-speed dude with 75 hands than a 96-speed guy with 55 hands. Tight ends, sort by squat. You want 300 or higher because you want them that's good for their run block and break tackle. And you really want guys 4'7 or less on the 40 time because then they can get downfield in the coverage. They'll be able to uh, beat those linebackers. Uh, they'll be stronger than the DBs so they can break tackles. You don't want like 4'9, 4'8, 4'9 tight ends that are just straight up blockers. You can find blocking tight ends that have have speeds in the four sixes. Um, sometimes I do. A lot of times I just go with linebackers because I want stronger players. The linebackers are going to be stronger because their squats going to be in the 600s and 500s as opposed to the 300s. All right, offensive linemen and defensive linemen, linebackers, I sort by squat. All of those positions all offensive line all defensive line all linebackers i want 600 squat 400 bench they're going to be strong and they're going to have um the uh the squat for offensive line is is going to be their uh is it the run block or pass block hold on it's their run block squat is their run block all right Bench is their strength. Tackles, you can get away with um, having guys in the fives and the high fours on their 40 time. Guards and centers, you want the lower. You want the guys in the four sevens and four eights because you want to be able to get out in space, pull, and block guys. Okay. But either way, you want 400, 600, and then the 40 times, you can, you can go up or down. Just remember, a 5.0 40 time on a guard means you're not going to be able to run sweeps. Okay. Defensive end. Same thing, 600, 400, and the 40 times under 4.8 because you want them to be able to be fast for the pass rush. You can actually get away with a squat in the four, in the 590s and 580s if they're a pass rushing defensive end. You don't want a 580 squat defensive end that's a run stopper, all right? Only use those as, as uh, pass rushers. D-tackle, same thing. Now, if you can find a D-tackle that has a uh, 40 time in the 4.7s and 4.8s, that's great. Um, outside linebackers, I want guys in the 4.5s, 4.6s, max 4.7, preferably 4.5s, 4.6s. I found a guy on here that's 4.4, four, all right? But again, 600, 400 if you can do it. Outside linebackers, you can fudge that and get it into the 5.9s. Middle linebackers, you can take 4.7s. 4.8 is about as high, you know, high of a 40 time I would go, but you you want to get speedy linebackers because if you're using them, you want to be able to go chase somebody down on the sidelines, right? And as, as a Genius was saying here before, you know, sometimes you can recruit a strong safety and move them in, get a hard-hitting strong safety and move them to outside linebacker because they're really good in coverage. They're just not going to be as strong. Um, their squat and their bench are both going to be in the 300s. There won't be 400, 600. Um 
but you can use her with those guys and it's really good because they're going to be super fast okay corners i sort by 40 time i look for speed you can also sort by squat which is their tackle um and then scroll down the list until you get the guys that are in the four fours and four threes and then put those guys on the boards you don't want four fives and four sixes at corner obviously but if you get them in the 300 squat they're going to be really good at tackling all right but if you can't find it don't worry about it just get the cover guys that can run with the wide receivers okay free safety strong safety you can treat those guys as exact same position go for hard hitters because they're going to be stronger um and try to get lower 40 times especially at free safety but you can always recruit a corner and move them to free safety recruit a fast cover guy and put them at free safety okay that's what i look for that's my um process now we're not done yet <laughs> this is gonna be a long one might go until dinner this chart right here nine lou helped me put this chart together those letter grades they're they're bonus when you look on the page for a player like this this guy right here see this guy's bonus he's a b minus on his athletic facilities b plus on television and b plus on on uh proximity that equates to this many points so the B minus, his first column B minus is worth 90. The B plus in the second column is 80. The B plus in the third column is 40. If you get a D minus, you're getting no bonus. I've actually recruited somebody that had a 10 bonus before. <laughs> um, but you want as many of these A's and B's, all the, all the uh, green color ones. Because even if you had B minus across the board, you're still getting a 180 point bonus. You really want to get a bonus that's at least 250 or higher. Um, you really only want to settle for somebody that has a C if it's in the first column, but you have B's and A's in the second. I would take an A plus with a couple of C's because that'll get you over 200. But this, I have this on my Discord too. This will help you mentally figure out um, if it's worth even pursuing somebody. So the easiest thing is just look for the green letters. A's and B's and look for a lot of green. Okay. This right here tells me if I should be chasing somebody down. All right. Let's look at this guy. All right. I'm last on his board. Texas Tech has a 270 point bonus. I have a 260 point bonus. Okay. <laughs> so they're going to gain 10 points on me every week if we both have them on our board. No matter what I do, if we put the same amount of points, they're always going to gain 10 points, right? So the easiest way to figure out if they're putting any points on them or not is how many points um, behind. So I'm 565 points behind. Hold on, let me check. 500 points plus it's 530. Yeah, okay. So, all right. So they have they have 270, I have 260. So there's a 10 point difference, right? So if I put 500 points on them and they put no points on them, I would gain 490. Okay? If they put 500, I put 500, I would lose 10. Now, if I was at the top of the board and I had that 10 point bonus and I put 500 points on them, and I gained 510 points on the last place team, that means they don't have them on the board at all. Otherwise, they would at least get their bonus. Okay? Let me go back. Let's use this example instead. So I have 500 points on a guy, and I have a 30-point bonus, so I'm getting 530 points. That's my points I'm putting on the guy every week, is the bonus plus whatever points I add. The CPU team I'm competing against for this player has a 230 bonus, right? So that's a 200 point advantage. So if I'm gaining 300 points that week, that means they have them on their list because they're getting their bonus, but they're not putting any points on them, right? I'm gaining 300 points because 
my 30, their 230, there's 200 point difference. If I put 500, but I'm only gaining 300, that means they're just getting the extra points out of their bonus. If I'm gaining 530, that means they're not getting their bonus, which means that guy's not on their board. If I'm losing 200, that means not only do they have them on their list, but they're putting 500 on there just like me. So they're gaining by the 230 point bonus every week. Okay, so you can look at that change column right here where it says change right next to the lead column. If you're going up and down, you can do the math and figure out how many points the other team's putting on by how much they're going up and down. Okay, very simple. You'll see that in a minute. Let me get through this and we'll, I have better examples for you when we get through this. Okay, let's, let's finish putting points on these guys. I'm going to put 300 points on him because I, I really don't want to fall behind on too many of these guys because then I'll be settling for 69 to, um, offensive linemen. This guy. I need a center. We're probably going to spend a crap ton of points on offensive line that I don't want to. So let's put 300 on this guy. Put 200 on, not on him, on him. We're gonna have to revisit this. Let me just get through doing this. You guys can just watch me and I'll explain this when we get done because this is taking way longer than it should. And it's easier for you guys to just see what I'm doing and ask me questions, okay? Yeah. Okay, we're not getting this guy even though we can compete on the bonus. We're just too far down. Getting crushed. All right. We need two D tackles. So let's start with two of these guys. I'm gonna go low for right now and we'll come back and add points. We're going to have to go find, I have done this before with 35 guys and had to come back and add 20 guys to my board. So don't be afraid to uh, take a chance on some of these low lock guys and get shut out and have to basically redo your entire board before you play your game in week two. This is kind of why I do this. Um, on stream at the end of the season when I only have one or two games to play because it takes so long. All right, this guy, this is going to be great. We play UCF the first week, and we're really all we got to do is gain ninety points on this guy, and we can auto we can offer this guy. I'll show you what I do on the board. I don't think it really matters where you have them on the board. I leave them in the position order like this for several weeks until I start getting several recruits signed. Like the last season with uh, Texas A&M, we were in week three and I had six commits. So I started, then I started moving guys up and down based on their overalls, especially when I'm number one on their board. Then I'll move them up because I don't want to forget about them. I want to make sure I'm going hard after the top overall guys. If I miss out on a 71 guy, oh well, but if I miss out on an 81 guy, then, then I was being stupid. All right, we need three linebackers, three outsides. No, two outsides in the middle. So I actually have a better chance of getting him than either of these two outs. So we're going to give him 300 right now. How do you know I have insta commit? Because when you offer him a, a scholarship, it'll say right there, commit. And instead of the points, it'll show the logo for your team. So if you have insta commit as one of your recruiting um, skills, before you offer the scholarship, you take away all your points. So this guy right here. So if I'm number one on his list next week, I'm going to take away the 300 points and, and offer him a scholarship. Because if you leave the 300 points on there and you offer him a scholarship and he accepts it, then those 300 points are burned for that week. You can't put them on somebody else. But if you take him off first and then offer and he says yes, then you still have those points to put on someone else. You will not get an insta commit until you have that um, recruiting ability on the coach page. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I have I have three granddaughters and another one on the way. I don't want to know if it's a boy or a girl. I'm I'm 56, just so you know, but I feel like I'm 36. So we only need one of these guys. Yeah, we're gonna have a better shot at this guy. Plus he's plus we have Penn State and Michigan State in our conference chasing him, so we really don't want those guys to get him. You know, we have some other teams in here, but yeah, yeah, maybe I should, we'll give him a hundred just for shits and grins. All right. 
This is the guy with the 90, 90, 91 kick power. All right, we may miss out on both of these guys. But I'm only going to give 100 to each. And then we're going to go back and look at the board. Because you see we already got insta commit on the, uh, the corner and the strong. So we don't have to pursue that position anymore. All right, let's go back up to the top. I put nothing on the quarterback and the halfback. I think we can find better halfbacks. So I'm not worried about it. We really want this guy. Why do I really want this guy? Well, he's a 91 speed quarterback with 86 throw power. And he can play corner. And he can play wide receiver. So we want to max him out. And we may not even get him. We, we may not get him. We may have... Hell, he may instantly commit to Auburn. We don't know. All right. But just as a safety, I'm going to throw 300 on Otis Jones. This 80 overall quarterback that's 89 speed with 86 throw power. This is not an athlete. This is an actual quarterback. Okay. So I might miss out on this guy, but I could still get this guy. 89 speed. It's only We're only off two. Now throw power is a little less. But he'd still step in and start for us next year. Okay. So. This is what we got. Now we can go by position. So it's a little less cluttered. These guys are okay. They're not great. Somebody asked if I had gem. Yeah. I had a gem at running back. Let's look at our gems. I didn't have a gem at fullback, but he's still better than what we have. I know we're going to have gems on the offensive line. There's one. All I do is sort by squat. You really want the 400 as well because you want them to be strong. Not only have the, the the run blocking, but you want them to be strong so they can pass block too. I know we have some in the linebacker. Got to be one of these middles. Nope. I know we had more than that, but that's okay. These are two athletes. Eighty-one speed. This guy's a linebacker. Eighty-one speed with ninety acceleration, eighty-two hit power, eighty tackle, ninety pursuit. He's got 70 man coverage, right? He doesn't have power moves or finesse. So he's not, he is not a defensive end. His block shedding sucks. You could, uh, you could probably play him at strong safety, but um, he's a guy I would put on the team, put him at linebacker and then um, let him sit as a backup for a couple of years. And maybe he's a starter by the time he's a junior or a senior. All right, let's move on. Let's let's get on. It's already almost five o'clock. My wife's gonna be like, "Are you done yet?" Yeah, well, it's gonna be a seven-hour stream, honey. I gotta be done by seven o'clock because I'm calling a game on our uh, our user league. All right, here we go, and we're gonna take on our old school UCF. We won a natty there. We lost a natty on a hail mary with four seconds left, and then they've won three straight after we left. I think all of the players that we recruited are finally out of there. We were there four years, so. And it's been three seasons. Three seasons, two at Ohio State, one at Texas A&M, so yeah. So anybody that we recruited the last year that was a true freshman that didn't get redshirted will be on the team. They might have two years left. So, anyway. Uh, we're going to advance. We're going to look through this recruiting again. We're going to fix our board again, and then we're going to be done. Okay. Yeah, CPU won without us. Did you see my stream? Yeah, tell you what, go to, uh, yeah, I would just go to my go to my uh, channel here and go look at, um, I think it's the last Ohio State stream. 
It should still be there. And go to about halfway. Go to where I ended the season. I was done playing my game before I went to the off season. And I will show you what I did with um, Texas Tech. I'll show you what I did with um, Army. Army is a straight sim. I don't play any of those games. I just fast sim the game. I just advance the week. Fast sim and recruit. Fast sim recruit. We've won 110 games in a row in the sim. We've won seven natties in a row. I don't play. I don't play a single play. We just straight sim, and I turn them into a read option, not a um, regular option. All right. So one of those tight ends insta committed. So before we do this, let me save this so we don't have my uh, PS3 crash on me and I lose all this shit. I know it's a lot to take in. That's why I. That's why I said. Uh, you can follow me on YouTube. I archive everything over at YouTube. And you can, uh, I took us um, Louisiana Monroe. They were like a 68, 63 overall. And we did the same thing. I just recruited to show people how to recruit, especially with a low level school. And we simmed the games. We didn't play any games until the very last game of the series. And we won the Natty in year four. Yep. Okay. Let's go. We're not playing this game. We're going to go back into recruiting. And we're going to see what happened with all those players we put points on. All right. Check this out. I am not opposed to having both of these quarterbacks, be out, by the way. I will I will cut somebody else off the board like one of the one of the guards or the extra halfback if we get both these quarterbacks. So right now we jump to number 1. SOS Blaze, hey welcome in. Thanks for the raid, man. Appreciate it. So we're number 1. So now I'm going to take these points away. We're going to go over here and offer and see if we can get this guy to commit. And we didn't. But uh, that's okay. I'm just going to put 300 points back on him. And we'll wait and see what he looks like next week. See if we keep gaining ground. Okay? But we're number one on his list. And as you see, nobody else is putting points on him. I don't think they're on their board. All right. So we maxed out with this guy. And we gained 120 points. And we have yet to offer a scholarship. So that's 80 point difference, right? Yeah, put the points back. You can put more points, less points. It kind of depends on how much ahead you are of everybody. Um, if other teams are still gaining on you, then yeah, you want to make sure you put more. But in that case, I just put 300 because I know he was gaining ground on everybody else. Um, next week, we'll look and see. Once I get to about... A thousand points, thousand, two thousand points. I'll start peeling points off those guys and start sticking them on somebody else. But you also don't want to take those points off too early because your whole goal is to get them to visit, right? Remember I said earlier, you want to get them in for a visit as early as possible. Well, you can't schedule a visit until they're 50% locked. So you got to leave the points on there and get them past 50% or at or past 50%. And then you can schedule a visit. And then once you have the visit, if you have a really good week and you say you have a thousand point week because you won, you beat a rival as a conference game, you met all your goals and you racked up a thousand point week um, because you got all those bonus points plus what you were already putting on them. Well, then now I'm like 3000 up on this guy. Well, I can dial that. I'm 3000 points up and I have, I'm like 90% locked. Well, now I'd take that down to like one or 200 points because I'm going to get this guy. And I'll take the other points and put them in somebody else that I might be trailing or I'm not, I need to bump his lead higher, right? So let's do the math on this guy. I can tell you right now, Auburn's putting 500 points on here. And I have a way to show you that to prove what I'm talking about. And I'll show you that in a minute. 
They have 330 point bonus. I have a 250 point bonus. The difference is 80 points, right? My change is I went up 120. If you add those 80 points to the 120, that's 200 points. I put 700 and I gained 200. That means they're putting 500 points on this guy. So if it stays the way it is, in four weeks, I'll catch him. Just leaving 700 points on there, in four weeks, I'll catch him. And once I get to first, then I can offer him a scholarship and I can get an instant, bonus, uh, instant commit out of him. Now, if I end up getting a visit before then, because he's already at 25% locked, then I'll have to go ahead and offer him before I get to number one. But let's go see if I'm right. I'm, I think they're putting 500 points on there. So let's go see. I have downloadable content that I never use. It's right here. So Maxwell, we're putting 700 points. Auburn, Maxwell, 500 points. I did that without even going here. I just did it off the math. So again, 80 point difference in the bonus. They're, they're getting 80 more points than me. I gained by 120. So if you give me that 80 point back that I lost, that's 200 points. I put 700. I gained by 200, right? So that means that's 500. I can tell they're, they're only putting 500 points. They probably have a head coach or something that doesn't have the points in order to give them a 700 point bonus. So I will get to first on this guy at some point. So we'll leave the 700 on him. And that's why I said I'm not opposed to getting both these guys, right? Because I could move this guy to corner. 86 man, 88 zone. He could play wide receiver. 80, 77 catch, 80 route, 81 spec catch. I could play him at DB or corner. He could be my emergency quarterback if I had four guys on my team and they all get hurt, which you know, you've seen guys down to their fourth string quarterback. He can come in and play quarterback in an emergency. And he's got the speed to play safety. And this guy's speed and throw power aren't that far off. They have the same throw power. That's why you recruit athletes to play quarterback. And you also want athletes, think of it this way. If I play this guy at corner, he's also got 77 catch and 81 spec catch, which means he's going to be a ball hawk back there on defense. He's going to be picking balls off right and left. All right, let's keep moving. Nick Andrews, I put no points on, and I gained 95 points. Um, kind of interested, not interested. Everybody else is moving up. I'll leave him on the board for another week, but I think I can find somebody better. All right, Lawrence Green, I didn't put any points on him at all, and I moved to number one. So I can go ahead and offer him and see if he commits. What is he? 88 speed. That's not bad. It's not great. But he's the bottom of he's the bottom of the depth chart kind of guy. He's a body. And he didn't commit, but I'm not going to put points on him. I'm really not that interested in him. Right? But we'll gain more points because I offered. This guy, Cal's already offered. I have no intention of putting points on him. So I'm just going to cut him. Just because he's cluttering my board. All right, fullback. I gave him 300 points and we moved to number one. Arkansas offered, but they're not putting any points on, or they're putting very few points. I don't think they're putting any points on him. They just offered him. They put him on the board and they offered, and that's it. So I'm going to take this off. And we're going to offer. I went too far. Give me a sec. No insta commit. But we're going to put the 300 points back on there because I want to keep gaining because I want to get him in for a visit as quick as I can so I can get done with this position because fullback is one of those hard positions that take forever for you to get. All right? So everybody below Arkansas, they don't even have him on the board. They're not messing with him at all. So you don't have to worry about them. You're just competing with Arkansas right now. So I'm going to leave those points on because I want to get his lock percent to 50% so I can get a visit and get him in here and get him signed. Okay? Wide receiver, we only gave him 100. We went up 170. Oklahoma offered. Well, we're 65 points behind them. 
but we're only 330, 355 behind on the list. So I could give this guy 500 and we would move up the board and we could, we could go after this guy. So I'm not going to take him off right now. We'll come back to him. This guy, Virginia, Kansas, Michigan State, they all offered and dropped 600 points. There's no point in keeping him on the board. We are not, even though we have the best bonus on the board, we're not getting them because I'm not going to dump 700 points into them. I can find another wide receiver that no one's going after, and we don't need to waste our time. We can we can slow play him at 200, 300 points and go get him. We'll, we have a better shot in getting Bowers, and we need two wide receivers. Well, we already gave this guy 200 points and offered, so I really only need to go after these two guys. All right. And Roberts, we didn't offer him and we didn't give him any points, but we went up by exact amount of our bonus, which means he's not on anybody's board but us. So I can just leave him on the board and in two weeks we'll be number one. So you just leave him on the board. You don't need to give him any points because you're going to gain 245 just by having him on your board and nobody else has him. He's a free player at this point. And his percent locked is going to grow slowly because you're not, you don't, you're not putting a ton of points in. But you just slow play him. He's like a safety net in case you lose this guy. Okay. All right. This tight end, we didn't put any points on him. I didn't think we would get him, and we dropped, and so we're going to cut him. I figured Georgia would get him, so I didn't worry about him. All right. This guy we put 200 points on, and we dropped 385. We're still only 570 behind. So if I really wanted this tight end, I'll put 700 points on him. And I'm going to go look and see what else is out there at tight end first before we do that. Because I may just straight up cut him. This this guy, 1,300 points back. We lost 800 points. They have 410 point bonuses. which is the max you can have. He's gone. I'll let Georgia and Oklahoma fight for him. Same thing with Sparks. We're not catching him. We're gone. Don't waste your time. This guy... We would have to give him 700 points and we would only gain 55 points a week. How do I know that? If I put 400 more points on him, we would we would gain, what, 55 points? We would go up 55 instead of dropping 345? I'll go look and see if there's another tackle. All right? We need three of them, but I'll go look. This guy's the same way. We dropped 260. So we're going to go look for these three positions and see what we can find. Because we actually don't need, quote-unquote, starters right now, but we do need a lot of depth. So if I can find a 73 that no one's chasing, I'll go get him instead. Next year, I'll go look for a 79. He's gone. I was just hoping no one was interested in him. He's gone. We need three guards, three tackles. But we, we can get away with two of each. And this is this happens with offensive line. This happens all the time. I aimed high, like this. I aimed high with the center, and I'll I'll just leave three hundred points on him and see where we stand next week. We'll come back on this guy because I have the highest bonus on the board. Yeah. All right, Nebraska hasn't offered, but two other teams have. So this is not a 73% lock guy. This is a guy that Utah State's going to be pushing Nebraska for. So we'll go look at defensive ends as well. D-tackle, he's gone. I didn't put points on him. No big deal. All right. These two guys I put points on. This one I fell a little bit. This one I gained. We need two D-tackles. So I'm actually going to give him an extra 100. I'm going to give him an extra... Yeah, let's just max... Yeah, let's make it 600 probably fall again yeah this makes it and might as well just max it out screw it i'm gonna look at all of the defensive line and offensive line again outside he's gone we're not catching them <sighs> missouri hasn't offered but mississippi state has we only need two all right, this is that athlete I told you about. Let's go ahead and offer him. All right, didn't get him. We'll just throw 200 back on him. Let him sit there. We're good to go. No, I don't think anybody else has him on their board, right? 
Ah, uh, Wisconsin. I'm not worried about Wisconsin. All right, this guy we dropped. We can get this guy. We have the best bonus of the guys putting points at the top. So let's put him at 500. We'll see how he looks next week. All right, Wisconsin jumped over us. So we'll give him 500 so we can get back ahead of them. I'm running out of points. We still have to do some scouting. Yeah, we're not getting that punter. And this is going to be our kicker right here. We're going to make this guy a kicker. We'll change his position. All right. He's got 84 kick power. He's not bad. What, what we'll do is the guy that's on the team already at punter, we'll just, in the depth chart, we'll just make him punter and kicker while this guy red shirts and sits as a backup until his uh, progression each year gets him better. And this guy committed to Kentucky. That's fine. But that's our kicker. I'm not going to put any more points on him. Because we went up by our bonus plus our points. No one else has him on their board. So he's ours. All right. So I need to find two more outsides. Two more outsides. At least one more D tackle. At least one D end. I might go after these guys anyway, but I, I want to think about it. Because what I might do is just say, all right, if I can, which one can I get? Can, if I can I get this guy, we'll just give him four hundred points, or we'll max him out. Um, yeah, because we're gonna if we take all these guys off the board except the center, then we'll have all those points to put on new guys. Clean this tight end. Yeah, I don't have enough points to spend, so we're going to go look for a new tight end. All right. I only have 22, so I have 13 guys I can add, so. Right. Let's go look. All right. Now I want no deal breaker, and I want 25% locked. That's it. Once you get to be a six-star school, you're going to change this caliber to three-star, so it gives you nothing but three and four and five stars. Okay. All right, so we have 1,300 guys to look through. We don't need a quarterback. We already did that. But just for the sake of argument, anybody on this guy? Not one team is recruiting this guy. There's no scholarship offered. I don't even know if they're putting points or not, but all you're looking for right here in low lock is no scholarships, right? In the upper right-hand corner, no, I, I never play the first game of the season. Never play the first game of the season. We finish off the other one, and we, we do all the recruiting, and my next stream, we'll start playing games. I've been streaming for six hours, so we're going to wrap this up and be done. There's like a 90% chance I'm going to come back and stream tomorrow night, since there's no uh, college football games, I'll, I'll stream tomorrow night after dinner or right at dinner time, and we'll play three or four games. But you're looking right here, no school has offered him a scholarship, so if you need a quarterback, you can throw him on the board. All right? Here, Central Michigan's offered. I'm not interested. Kentucky's offered. Not interested. Nobody's out. Oh, yeah. Wake Forest and Charlotte, Texas have. But this guy right here runs a 4-5. If I didn't have a quarterback on the board, that would go after him. But we already have a quarterback who runs a 4-4. Four -four. <laughs> right? Let's see if there's any really good running backs out here. Look at this guy. Of course, Ball State offered. This guy was a stud because he's got 4-10 power, 3-30 squat. They're 410 on his bench press and runs a 446. So he's going to be strong and fast. And this guy I'm not opposed to because he's going to be in like the mid 80s running, but he's very strong. I would actually put this guy on my board if nobody had a scholarship offer. Like this guy. I'll throw this guy in the bar. Ben Falk. Those power backs do a lot better than you actually think, especially if you run in the middle like I do. This guy's a Juco Jr. I don't want him. This guy's straight up speed. This 
got 310 squat, so he's got good break tackle. I'll throw him on the board, and if he's good, I'll dump a couple of the other guys. Fullback I don't need because we're no, we're uh, high on that one guy's list. Right now I'm just I'm scrolling down and looking at four and five star guys. All right, he's got two offers. Not interested. He's got offers. Not interested. All I'm looking for is that little piece of paper with a pen in the corner of the uh, team logo square. There's one. You can throw a font. No, he's a possession guy. All right. Tight end. Again, sort by squat. Look for a low 40 times, like this guy. 65, of course. Of course. There you go. All right, so this guy's now he's a blocking tight end, but he runs a 4-7, and he's got 300 squat. So we'll throw him on the board because he's acceptable. Squat. This guy's a gem right here. I'm telling you right now. And, of course, they have him on the board. If we find any of these guys that don't have offers, we're going to throw them on the board right now, like this guy, Larry Howard. Hey, where's Mo and Curly? Three Stooges. He's a two star. This guy's probably a 69 or higher. It's too bad. I know. He's not 600. Yep. I'm not worried about it. All right. What do I have? Just added one. So we're going to have to go after one of those other guys. And I will move a guard out to tackle. Here's another one. He's a sophomore. I don't mind. I don't mind Juco sophomores. I don't want Juco juniors. I can play tackle. Hey, since he type an exclamation NWO. Yeah, we're hating life on me. Is there an extra center I can get? There you go. That's our user league. You guys want to watch? We have a game tonight. All right, this guy can play tackle. Defensive end. He's fast and strong. Boom, got it. What's this guy? Uh, Ole Miss, of course. This, these guys that run four fives, I'm sorry, four nines and fives, those are, you can move them to D tackle. They don't have the speed to play outside. Oh, damn, Alabama, of course. He's a Juco. All right, we're going to look in the 495s because we want pass rushers and uh, we don't need them to be quite as strong. Throw them on the board. Yeah. All right, let's look at D tackle. He's a Juco. I don't want to I already have too many juniors. Oh, man. I was losing my shit if he was, uh, no one was after him. I'd be like, ooh. You don't want him? All right. He's really slow, but he'll be at least a 69. Same thing with him. Outside linebacker. Now oh, we got a full board. All right. Let me uh, let me go. Let me scout these running backs and see if I can drop some guys off the board because we got to put some uh, linebackers on here and then we'll be done. Um, all right. Ben Falk. 
86 speed. But he's still elusive. 83 elusive. 80 excel. 74 break tackle. Just pounded up the middle with this guy. This guy's a 73. He's got 95 speed. 85 elusive. 89 excel. There's your fast back. Anybody recruiting this guy? No. All right. We'll put those two guys on the board, and we're going to dump. We're number one on him. What is his? He's 88. He's not elusive. This guy's not elusive. 92 spin. We're dumping these two guys. We're going to go with the other two. Don't care. I know I offered him. Don't care. Either of these two guys are going to be better. We only need one. We'll take two, but we only need one. So, Again, this guy's going to be at the bottom of the depth chart. So, um, Let's see. Scroll down. Wide receiver. 90 speed. Yeah. He's a possession guy. Yeah, we have better on the board, so he's going away. Ooh, nasty. All right. We'll have to put more points on the other one. There's a gem. There's another gem. All right, let's see. Anybody recruiting these guys? No. No, no, no. All right. Those guys go on the board. We, uh, we'll, we will put points on those guys next week. Um, I am not on their top 10 right now. So any points I put on them is wasted because uh, I'm not on their top 10. Why did he lock me out? What the fuck did he do? He locked me out when I moved him up the list. He's a Juco. T Clink, how you doing, man? Playing time. This little bitch. All right, he's off the board. Unbelievable. So what I would do is I would get this 60 or this 75 center. Yeah, we got the Iowa job. I would get this guy to play center and move this guy to guard. Um, we'll look at the points I'm spending on these two guys later. Top school. Nobody's after him. Yeah, I understand that feeling. All right, this guy is uh, just a maybe placeholder type. We don't need him. He's a 66, and Houston's already putting points on him, so he's gone. Um, we're already on his board, so we actually can put points on this guy. All right. Who can I legitimately get? Not him. Put the points on there that way. <clears throat> and this guy will be extra just in case we don't get Shelton. So we'll get our two DNs. Actually, just need one D end. Just need one D end. Well, we can always move one of them to D tackle. All right. So he's good. He's not. So actually, we wanted two D tackles. Yeah, we can we can live with this. Let's move him to 400. I don't want to waste all that points on this guy that's two points better. We'll just let him go. Because then I'll have points to put on somebody else. Because we need to put the points on this guy. So let's max him out. He's right. That takes two. Five. We just need one, right? We just need one. Max him out. We'll get rid of this guy. We'll just, I, I want to focus on one guy at a time. 
All right, so middle linebacker, outside, outside. That takes care of linebackers. Get two of these D tackles, one of those defensive ends, so we can kick a D ta end into tackle, and we have a faster guy. My right, dad. Um, can't offer him. I can't give him points yet. Let's give him. Let's give him four hundred. Let's max him out. We'll drop him off the list because we're not going to get him. So I'm basically going to go five offensive linemen instead of uh, seven. All right. And that actually will let us get both of these guys. So I can play him at uh, defensive back if I wanted to. Or wide receiver. We can get both running backs. Tell you what, let's take a hundred off of him and we'll max out the tackle. Because he's kind of more important at this point. Alright. Alright. We are done. We are done. But we are not done. Give me one second. What is this guy? Is he a quarterback? You're gonna go into the Spark 100 guys? This is a free cornerback. He's the number one corner in the country, and no one has um, offered him a scholarship. Okay, and our pitch is really good. We have a lot. We have a good bonus. Okay, this is a five star that runs a four three four. Guess what? We just took some guys off the board. He's coming on the board. Don't be afraid to come back out here and look for low lock. Guys with no scholarships. That's all you want. No scholarships. Damn, I wish I could get him. Here's another one. We have good corners, though. I don't need both. We'll, we'll take the five star. All right, let's see if we have any defensive or offensive linemen out here. Um, and you do that by sorting by squat, right? It's the number one middle linebacker. Yeah, I was going to say. You look for athletes. Here, let me go by athlete. All right, so this guy right here, Lamar Washington. Even though he's 6'1", 230, with those stats, he could play defensive end for sure. And he might even be able to play offensive line. This guy could play offensive line. cool thing is they'll probably be able to do both so when you go into player position changes page um he'll be in the high 70s at both positions this guy these guys are linebackers six seven two six five all right you'll be able to tell the defensive players from the offensive players they're like the defensive line linebackers offensive line guys their squats are going to be in the 600s, 500s, and 600s. If they're down in the 300s, then they're going to be running backs, quarterbacks, wide receivers, defensive backs. So. All right, we have 26 guys on the board. I'm going to end my stream now because it's almost time for dinner, and I have a game to call at 7 Central Time in about an hour and a half. So... I might go back and put more guys on my board off off camera, but we will get into this tomorrow night, um, the after dinner time. Um, if you're following whatever, you should be able to get a notification when I go on. But I'm thinking like six, seven o'clock Central Time. We'll come on and we'll we'll play our first three or four games with Iowa. Start the season against number one Central Florida, our old school, and uh, hit it up from there. So. Anyway, I appreciate everybody who came in and followed and rated. Um, this is what we're known for on this channel is recruiting. So you came on the right day. Um, I apologize for me raging while I play because I, I just get so mad at the uh, how the game mechanics work and how the game cheeses the hell out of you on Heisman. So you can overlook that. 
you know, have fun in here with the recruiting at least. So, um, anyway, we're going to uh, go raid someone else here. It's too bad I can't raid for another hour and a half. I just go in and have you guys raid uh, NWO. But uh, come watch our game tonight. We have our two only undefeated teams left in the season playing head to head tonight. Come watch us play. I will be on the mic. I don't know who my uh, color guy is. Doesn't matter. We got a lot of good guys in the league, so we'll have fun either way. Um, but thanks again. I appreciate it. I'm going to give you the uh, thanks for watching. It's going to say Texas A&M because that's that's what this uh, stream started out as. It'll say Iowa next time tomorrow. But anyway, we uh, give me one second here. I want to go see if. If this person is actually streaming. Yeah, yeah, let's go. We're going to go raid Thrizzy again for like the third day in a row and blow his mind. So Thrizzy's a good dude, man. He also does uh, UCF and wrestling and shit too. So let's go hit up Thrizzy. We'll give him a big raid. And uh, I will see some of you guys tomorrow. And I'll see the rest of you guys down the road next time you come. So thanks a lot. I appreciate it, guys. And I'll uh, talk to you later.